The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. You look cool today. That music like, was perfect. You look like you're on vacation. Thanks. He got his commoner shorts on. Commoner? Yeah. They ain't like Dior or nothing. Oh, shit. I know. That's crazy. Was, you coming back down to earth, bro? I just fucked me up. I saw the little logo. I said, wait, you got Lululemon shorts on? Last pod. Oh, when, that's when, so poor. Last pod <laughs> when I said, they do this to me, he stopped, mouth dropped to the couch. <laughs> we do this to you. We do this to you. And I said, every pod y'all start. And then I just got to do this. Look, Fam. commoner child. <laughs> this looks like throwback Joe, like 09 see, Joe. See, it ain't just me seeing this. <laughs> you don't come in here without some Italian high designer shit Or the row. The row? The, yeah, that's fancy. Uh, the, Defo know Records? That is. That is De- fancy <laughs> yeah, that's what, uh, shit. The row right is Mary Kate and Ashley's line. It's their luxury uh, line. Their luxury line. Their contemporary cool. line is... Elizabeth? She ain't down? No, well, no, no. Their contemporary line is Elizabeth and James. And that's not be cheap either. But the row? None, the of, row. This, none of this is cheap. Yeah, you just won't know. They don't have a logo. Mm. logo yeah. And the Olsen's taking over like that? Oh, my God. They're like... Yeah, but I'm no, telling. Okay. Well, only for your whole life. It, so there's what you mean? The, the Olsen twins. Your whole life. They were millionaires when they were babies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Hey man, yeah. a lot of the child stars that we had when in the early '90s or whatever, they did, did meth and shit. They went off and lost it. Pretty much. So for them to, it's good to see some, yeah, uh, some success like, stories. Okay. You know what I mean, yeah. all right, yeah, y'all got that. So but look. Lululemon is not commoner ice. No, 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 no. For you, Lululemon mm. is commoner. Oh shit! Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry. Oh, Why? please silence all phones, please. So sorry. I'm so sorry. Who keeps the ringer on? And change your Why? ringer. Why? And that ringer? Why is you it? got the old lady what ringer? The fuck? That shit would give me anxiety, the house bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? Got a rotary dial at home. What the fuck you doing, yo? Freak ass girl. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. If you were the shorty and that ringer go off, she gotta go. Yeah, for real. You she, would cancel somebody just because they're yes. ringer. Yeah. That. What's that? No. What's your ringer sound like? I don't know. Me either. Same. <laughs> I don't fucking. You can know. actually take the speakers right out of my phone. <laughs> I don't need. And speakers. turn the phone off. Actually. Damn it. Don't even need the phone. I mean. And and the crazy part is that's not the default ringer. You went and set that. It, the, you're right. No, nah, the crazier part is she got the ringer on and still was inconsistent with old boy. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Facts. Phone over there going. Bring, bring, bring. <laughs> like, oh, it's him. It's him again. I wouldn't answer my shit if it was that annoying too. <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, I'm hard of hearing sometimes, so like I put it on like the highest ring. If, you know, everybody heard that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know, I know. It's a little Jeez. annoying. My bad. Usually, I keep it on silent, but I don't know. Today, I did. I didn't. Gotcha. Got a big phone call coming in today, huh? Oh, big deals coming across the table. Yeah, mm. yeah. I can read through the tea leaves. <laughs> that's what it is. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. Yeah. But how are you guys? Wonderful. Like, nice, like, nice little deflection there. But yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, deflecting like a motherfucker. Why? There's right only four of us. Huh? Yeah, we can leave it on mail today. We can, we can talk about anything. Oh, In fact, Christ we have to leave it on mail today because there's only four of us. <laughs> <laughs> No. Let's talk about your shorts. Okay. Let's talk yeah. about your shorts. It's hot out. Yeah, it is. It's hot out. Sun's out, buns out, huh? Yeah. Yep. yeah. I see I'm that. It's today. like your shorts got shorter from the shorts the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to keep going up <laughs> until I'm the 80s basketball players. Yeah. Jeez. Coochie this. cutters. You yeah. don't wear none of the same style Pumas even. <laughs> yeah, I ain't seen those. Not enough is put on... Parks is changed. It's the E class. Yeah. The evolution I know. of Parks. Once he got that Benz. Once he got that Because you can't was... do that bullshit he used to do in a Benz. No. Absolutely not. It's not comfortable. Yeah. But that's one reason. Even the curls <laughs> look a little different. Yeah. Look at the curls. Everything about him is instantly because you can't do that shit in a Benz. Yeah. Yeah. All of that fucking, I'm going to pack a book bag for the six month tour. I got trunk space now. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> 
I can all, bring some things with me. All that, all black, everywhere. Because if you keep doing that, somebody's going to think you stole that car. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to think he stole that car. Though. They are going to think he stole that car. They're not going to think he stole that car. white people boys stole I didn't, cars. They're not going to think he stole that car. If he wear them black jeans, black t-shirt every day, and one of his neighbors or somebody who happens to see him in his vehicle often sees him in that outfit, out that car. They might think they're going to scamming or something. They're going to go, they, he's shady. He's a, <laughs> a shady character. Now, I'm not going to lie. There was one thing that I felt a little bougie about yesterday. My friends were like, yo, we're going to go to the beach this Saturday. It's supposed to be nice out. But my girl's got some family commitments in Jersey, so she's going to probably take the car. I'm I'm not riding over there. <laughs> riding in. Oh shit! Oh, it's hard to go back. Shit. It's hard to go back. It's hard. No, I'm with him. Yo, I'm with him. I'm not going. It's in hard the, to go back, dog. I'm not going in the O3 Honda I, I for an hour. That. I, I can't, can't do that. What am I no? Wait, you got cloth seats? I'm sorry. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> They don't even contort. No, the no, AC no. don't AC like it don't. it's supposed mm. to AC. Music, music definitely don't hit. Absolutely not. Yeah. Patronis and Redditors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just tried to set me up. He told, me, he told me the wolves. No, I'm, just, no, I'm talking about me. I want I them to hear. It's time. Don't think it is. Nah, that's the, yo, listen. Once you step He's out He's better of bullshit, than me, though. I might have I might have had a talk with my wife. <laughs> Where you going? What, why you need the baby for the family? <laughs> Uber, Uber, Uber Black, Uber black. Yeah. Your might, whole family Might be a Benz on Uber Black <laughs> yeah. Your whole family got cars Y'all go, good I go rent you something oh, you, can't, shit. you can't take the Benz though Yeah Nah dog. And it's not You go on the beach It's nice Nah yeah, no, you can't yeah, take yeah, it That's no. when I introduce Gender politics in the relationship mm. <laughs> Go ahead what, Please. I can, Listen I don't care Yes <laughs> I don't care Yes I, Regale us with that. What is the gender politics? What did you say? Yeah. Regale us? Regale us. Oh, like, oh. Fill us in. <laughs> I, I definitely thought I'm she sorry. said something else. I'm but, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> left school yep. uh, early in 10th grade. It that's was like, what, it was still like what, October. Bro, that's, really what, that's really what the iPad for. I just be Googling shit she say. <laughs> okay, well, fill us in on the, on the gender politics that you... you know, what? Sometimes during the, during the discussion... <laughs> dispute or disagreement or confusion in the house and relationship, you might need to say, I'm a man. That's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they gonna I, kill us, but yeah. I listen. Yeah. I'm dead ass. Yes. Me and her, her and I continued that Juve conversation. I, oh, I, I, I could, bet you I, did. I, I can t- <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did. I, you know what? And when it was happening, I meant to ask this. Would you be okay with Sade in one of those in one of the the festival costumes. Oh, I don't care about that. You, you, I don't care. She can yeah. wear whatever she wants. Okay. My beef wasn't the clothes. It's staying yeah. out till my just, beef is nah, this I, morning. party ends at ten a.m. Yeah, and, and me in that situation, I know I what would weeks. happen if I if if, if you, I said that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like New York had their Caribbean shit a couple of weeks ago. My phone was blowing up with the paint parties. All white mud. Okay. You know they they yeah, get yeah, to yeah. it, uh-huh. and that party's over in the morning. Okay, so wait, does I would never bring that yeah, conversation. Oh, I, oh, wait, do there's the, a double standard there uh, for no, sure. Because gonna... my wife did some shit like that. She was out partying until she got home. I don't even know what time. The sun is up. Yeah, the sun was up. So I was gonna ask. I, I was tight for weeks, and I couldn't even bring it up because it's like, why can't you? Well, I mean, I brought it up, but you can't like go hard on the shit. You can't go hard on the shit. You can't. Do the rules change based on geography? Wait, slow down. I want to get to this. Okay. Why can't you? Y'all got to explain that to me because let Shorty pull one of them moves. It's getting brought up. And it's. What do you be- win? <laughs> Word. <laughs> what do you ever win? Get my point well, off. No, sometimes, I mean, the risk is worth the reward for me sometimes. Like the argument. I'll, t- I'll tell you. I'll tell you. You have, to, you have to gain understanding of this particular, particular topic or have compassion for where I'm coming from. I'll, I'll tell you what but I win. In though. this case, I'll tell you what I win next time. I've made such an issue, and I'm so not okay with that that when the next one come up, you probably ain't, you won't even think it's about not it. worth it's not worth going. See, I'll tell you for what I had to go through when I came back home. I'll tell you why I don't have the fight is because now I got I got a little chip in my corner that if I go out and stay up all night and do some bullshit, you can't play with me. See, I don't, I don't like that. I do. I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't. I, I got love credit. That. I got I, credit. I don't like that. Personally, I I mean I get people that do it. I love that. I, I want like the that. credit. Give me the credit. I I it feels it feels that. tit for tat to me. Yeah, give me the store credit. 
All right. No, it's not, tit, it's not tit for tat. It's letting your partner dictate. I skipped the argument altogether because I let the steam come from my head mm. without her. <laughs> and then by the time I process it, all I'm saying to her, who's trying to fish for the fight now, because she see I was tight for a little bit, so you're trying to prong yeah, it out let's of me. Get it out, yeah. But by the time I process it, all I say is, I was bugging. I didn't have a clear understanding of are how we do when it comes to events like this. Mm -hmm. But now that I know. That is so. Oh, that's a setup. That it is, is a setup. Because now when I do it, oh. you better not say shit. Yeah. But it's but a see, calm, me, but it's not a, it's not a beef fight setup. I, I get it. It's, it's just saying that, keep calm, that same energy when the shoe cool. is on the other foot. Mm. See, I don't like that because it almost feels like now I want to do it because of this, not necessarily that I wanted to do that. Mm. That's why I don't like it. If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm going somewhere and I'm a party and I'm going to stay out all night and all day, whatever the case may be, that was going to happen kind of... Pro you didn't have to do it first for me to want to do it. No. You no, see what I'm but saying? You, no, okay. So, yeah, okay. I, I wanted to go to the Caribbean all night party mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. Right. I know my partner... I didn't hear no way that I was going to try to get that off and it would have been peaceful for me. So I skip it. It's not even worth it. Mm -hmm. Right. She do it. I mean, I can have all the fight in the world, but the truth of the matter is this ain't a, like every month, every other month occasion. This is an anomaly. True. And it's you. when you mm -hmm. we have trust with your partner, it's yeah. like, it's not even about nothing. It's just. Yeah, you don't it's think not, no it about, bullshit. It's, no, no, no. Yeah. The argument don't be about I don't trust you or nothing like that. It's literally just I about. I want more compassion when I come in at 10 in the morning. That's it. Or, or when we start talking about, when you start telling me about, that was the other toy we had to have. You start telling me about the cultural uh, That's where my fight came in. In and y'all mm -hmm. I I, <clears throat> I have that, but you are talking to and damn I hate to say it, an American. <laughs> nah, that's not so, fair. That's not fair. I didn't finish my point. Oh, so how do you know what's fair? Well, or not? To, to take it as you're talking to an American, but go ahead, finish. Well, there's no fear. There's there's a communication. There's more communication that needs to take place if you're talking to somebody from another culture mm -hmm. who don't under understand really. So you saying to me. Yo, Juve is next week. I'm headed out. That don't really explain to somebody who's unfamiliar what this is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So, yeah, there, yeah there's nothing to disagree with. I just need better communication. But listen, we have to stay here. I'm going to advance this with where our talk went. That leads into, because she be snooping. She just know everything that I do that I try to hide from her, <laughs> which happened to be one night, me and my homegirl. You who, share locations? I don't. My girl does. I do. She do. I think it's the stupidest thing in the world. Why? No, nah, I don't. That shit came in we're, handy. Because we're long recently. Distance. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, oh, because right. of right. the accident. Yeah. yeah. That shit yeah, came yeah, yeah. in handy. I forgot about that part. Yeah. That makes sense. That shit, for me, came in handy very recently. It comes in handy almost daily. But, I mean, even with us not being like. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. My girl had a very traumatic car accident. Mm. Car flipped over a bunch of times. She transported to hospital. Had no idea where her car was or anything. No, no, didn't know where her phone was, nothing. But because I had a location, I knew where the car was at, and I was able to contact the spot and get shit. And you knew, mm. and you knew instantly, immediately. Well, well, she when she reached out to me um, and was like, "Yo," she told me what happened. I told her how she has Apple Watch. Put it on Wi Fi. We, I can call you, talking to her, and I immediately said, "I can find where your car is at." Because she's like, "Yo, I don't know where my phone is. I couldn't find it in the car. The car was on the roof, like it was flipped upside down. And I just had to crawl out." Cool. I pull it up. Okay, I know where your car is at now. Now we can start making moves so you can mm. go take care of business. I'm so glad she's okay because, yeah. wow, yeah, that's so that's scary. Terrifying. Crazy. That's so scary. That's wild. Yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, I, I but understand not using it in a long distance because it's kind of pointless. I don't know where that is there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Still not. Still not. Because, yo, let's say something happens. Mm -hmm. At least you have a starting point. Yeah, yeah. That's what, like, my mom used to tell me and my brother, um, like, my mom has my location now. My and mom she, says mine. I'm not going to do none of you. Nigga. No, Safe. no. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but no, nah, my mom, and she used to like, yo, listen, I ain't trying to be in your business, nothing like that. But God forbid you go somewhere, even if we travel somewhere, you go somewhere and you just go missing. Mm. At least I got a starting point. Hey, I know where to send the people to start looking. 
that area right there. He was last there. The phone is there. Go start there. Mm -hmm. She ain't got to be in the same place for that. Without that, you don't. We didn't see movies and shit. Smoke signals. How you figure? Because <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> but no, nah, that's like so. I, I I do I do see it that way, especially with women. Shit be happening. Yeah, Somebody facts. go snatch your girl up, and and nobody know. At least you can have, you can have a starting point. Hey, the phone is here. Yeah, that so is that, a fact. That, that's why it works. I never looked at it that way. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to be in the same state for that shit to help. Really? Yeah, I'm not pussy like that. That's the well, opposite I mean, of pussy. Come yeah. on. <laughs> I mean, being cognizant of liquor. You're not going to trick me with the, <laughs> oh, no, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same shit that the girls try to pull. <laughs> we need to start anymore. What if something happens? All right. That's later. <laughs> that won't be tonight. <laughs> hey, trust that I can get home tonight without you knowing a thing. <laughs> next month, next year, we'll, we, we, hey, we I'll give it to you because yeah. you're right. But, but hey, not right now. You ever want to go incognito? You just put on the airplane mode. You good? No, nah, because then now no, they know. Now that, they know. That's, now they know. You can't, they can't find you. Whatever. Now they know. I was I was shopping for a gift for you. Wow. Right. Yo, you you a good liar. <laughs> <laughs> I that. that was off the door. But um No, but I asked, like, does geography change the rules? Like when it comes to like Juve and like that kind of situation. Because like let's just say you're in Trinidad where mm -hmm. it's like it's the birth basically the birthplace of Carnival. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So do the rules change when it comes to being in a different place? I don't think it's the geography changing the rules. I think if if you're in Trinidad, you'll probably be more familiar with the culture. Mm -hmm. So you would have a better understanding. Not really changing the rules, it's just, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm over here, I know what this is. Like Joe said, I'm an American. So your girl trying to explain it to you, you might have never heard of Juve. Yeah. But if you live in Trinidad, you probably heard of Juve. No, and, and, because I'm stupid and ignorant, or you did hear of it, but you know the fly shit is over there. Mm -hmm. So now you calling your man talking about Ju Juve Houston. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you how my brain is hearing this. So it's a big Caribbean, but it's Houston, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you sending me an event right. <laughs> which which she still don't see nothing wrong with. But it's that, fine. I, like when, when we had the discussion, I asked her a question. The only thing. I know y'all was trying to get me in trouble. I wasn't trying to get you in trouble. I was I trying, this to, I was trying to under, get a, a, gain an understanding. And because if, if I've been with my girl for four, five, six years, whatever, and in year five, you telling me this is my culture, but you've never done it before. Now I got questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That was it. Yeah. If this was you from the jump, like, yo, Jube, mm -hmm. I, this, this is my culture. Yeah. I do this all the time. That's okay. I got it. But you introducing it yeah. so late, hold up. Dog. See, she look at it the opposite. She look at it like, yo, I've never been in the four years. This year I'm going. And that's where that's a problem. That's a problem for me. Yeah, See? Because you try <laughs> the only reason why it's a problem for me is because you're trying to chalk it up to it being your culture. Yeah. Wait, that's your what? You can't do that. What you mean? You can't do that. Oh, I lose that fight. I can't do that. Yo, because your culture is your culture. Whatever the fucking year you want to press the culture button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can appropriate your own culture when it's convenient for you? It's yeah. not appropriate. It's not your appropriate. That's yeah. not appropriate in your culture. If you. Be because, it's con because it's convenient for you at the time, you're, that don't mean you I are appropriating it. Yeah. It's opportunistic there. Hey, it's, if I don't go out St. Patrick's Day, but I want to go out one year for St. Patrick's <laughs> Day, I'm going. That's, that's that on that. Yeah, Is but it, if you're telling somebody, yo, I'm going out, coming back at 10 in the morning. Because it's St. Patrick's Day and I'm Irish and I've never done it before, they're gonna look at you funny. Nah, you know, fuck that. You, they, they, <laughs> it's they, my shit. You can still do it. I'm just saying they're gonna look at you funny. Like yo, if you so heavy on your culture, we've been together six years. You just want to start today out of the blue. Listen, I don't want to argue right. the culture card out of the conversation because I come from rap culture. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's all types of fuck shit. <laughs> right. So I want to I want to be able to use the culture card when, as well. When there is a party or function that you know good and goddamn well, <laughs> damn. I will not be back in that hotel room at four thirty in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, you got Juve it up. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 and, and then when you really think about it, it's Juve Houston, you ain't even at the. 
Rock out. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I couldn't understand it. You want to use your big joker right now on the Houston Jew, <laughs> All right. All right. Have a blast. But anyway, so we continue to talk. Yeah. And she knows about my homegirl who I fucked for a summer about 15 years ago. Mm. A quick summer. But we established a friendship. Of course. That home. Yeah. Okay. Dog. No, see, I argue with mine. I'm arguing. I hear you. I'm arguing it all the time. I hear you. What, that, that, that's my friend now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Statute of limitations. If we fucked 15 years ago, yeah. our friendship is well established. I'm, I'm agreeing, but that's because, I, because I'm a man. So anyway, keep that in mind. <laughs> hey, and you, I'm looking for you soon. <laughs> so she casually brings up, yeah, nigga, I seen that you went, I seen that you, I don't know how she, she did <laughs> She got, she got that Batman shit. She yeah. got something bugged. <laughs> Something's bugged. I'm telling you. Spyware. She got me. Mm. Something's in this. There's a new phone and she fucking does. <laughs> but anyway. Who got you the case? So she got his iCloud She gets the cases. She, <laughs> she got the case for you? the cases. Ta-da. The cases. But listen, so she said, I know about you and your little friend that you went uh, to the strip club with. You could have just told me that y'all went to the strip club. And I was like. Oh, she's good. And I was like, why would I do that? You don't handle those things as cool as me. And I know that about you. So it's not that something's going on that I can't tell you, but for, to avoid the fucking headache yeah. mm-hmm. when ain't shit popping, I'm not, I ain't telling you. And she says, cool, but could I? Could I what? What happened? Same scenario. In reverse. Could I go to the strip club with a nigga, with a that, nigga that I fucked 15 years ago <laughs> that I've established a friendship with. Yeah. And then I said, you was fucking niggas 15 years ago? <laughs> I didn't even, my brain didn't even think. Oh, shit. My brain didn't even think that. You fucked someone else? <laughs> what what, 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 Yo, what I, were you doing? I, we all that. <laughs> that I can't believe you. <laughs> Fuck somebody before me? Yeah. Oh Fuck. My God. Right, so once we get past that, she says, yeah, can, can we go to the strip club? And, uh, and I said, Nah. Right. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and she said, why not? That's a double standard. You ready for this one? Mm-hmm. You was looking for the spot. Yeah, what, was just, your, what was your card? card? Let's, hear, here let's hear the play. <laughs> I'm a man. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How's that for a callback? I assume. I'm a man. I would expect nothing less. Honestly, I would expect you're, nothing you're, less. You're, you insulting me <laughs> goes over my head. It's not even you. No, the thing matters worse. I agree. I, I, listen, <laughs> I, I, that's the thing. I, I know it is. That is definitely the consensus. I absolutely get it. It's still fucking wrong, but How? I totally Double get it. Double standards How? exist. And the sooner we stop do. trying no, to no. act like they don't. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I'm with him. So yeah. explain to us ignorant, ignorant, ignoramuses. <laughs> First of all, you guys love the omission of facts because you don't believe it's a lie. You guys, you guys love that. Well, no, yeah. that's not a lie. A- omission of facts, actually, like if you were in a court of law, it counts as a lie. We're not in a court of law. We're not, we're not in a court yeah, of law. We're in a okay. relationship. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So just putting in that out there. We're in a podcast that we lie all the time. Yeah, who made the rules in, in court? <laughs> That wasn't designed for us. Our, our oh, people. Okay. You see how we fair in court now. Yeah. I'm, Why would you bring I'm, up court and argue? Us? I got you on the ropes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so if your girl omitted facts, you know, that was pertinent to a situation, you would not consider that like. Nah, she lied. Yeah, she lied. Yeah. There we go. But not if I do it. Not if I do it. Not if you do it. Fuck okay. no, I would consider it work. <laughs> <laughs> you betrayed me. That's just worse. That's worse than a lie. Oh my I'm God. up in the scales. Worse than a lie. Jesus. And yes. do it. Because <laughs> oh that's what I told her. Hey, you're right. Do it. Okay, Let's so see Let's out. see. I don't even know how I'll respond. <laughs> Let's see how it play out. Let's see if Let's you have a point. Let's roll the dice and see what the fuck happens. I was like, yeah, let's talk about it. Who was this nigga from 15 years ago? What's up? <laughs> it was just you and, and the girl? muted up. Muted right up. That's, yeah. I think that's an important thing. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Huh? Anything? That's just it? Nothing to say about that, Parks? No, I think that's an important part of the uh, equation. Yeah, yeah. Because if there's a third wheel in some format, then this is not a fight at all. But in this particular scenario. There's no third wheel. Mm. There's no third wheel. Okay. So, 
You went out what? So you is go there? Out, go out to the strip club. You toss it up. You make a little video. You buy some drinks. She go her way. You go your way. That's the night. Is there any scenario in which she could be in the company of somebody that she fucked 15 years ago that she says is just strictly a platonic friend now? That friendship has been established. Maybe not the strip club, but just any other scenario. Yeah, where like a you protest would... or something and it's just a thousand motherfuckers out there. You have to run into somebody that, you know, something like that. Yeah. Not no. In that scenario, you'd be like, oh, or yeah, Or okay, maybe fine, like both of y'all were farmers. Maybe a farm somewhere. That's another thing. <laughs> Farming? Yeah. Astronauts. Uh-oh. Astronaut. <laughs> oh. Nah. <laughs> nah, I ain't with astronaut shit. Nah, you can't fuck it. You got to keep that suit on. Nah, <laughs> you, know, nah, you trapped in a tight little space together. Nah, you got to die if you take that little suit off. Tight little space? What are you talking about? It's the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! This yeah, shit that's that's, that just sounds exhausting. All the double standards of the fucking rules. You still have not talked us out of. You, you called us out. Ah, I'm not shocked. So I mean, from you straight. Man. So in this situation, you trust yourself more than you trust your girl. In any situation, I yeah, trust myself. I, I more know me. I trust, what are you talking about? I know me. I know about? what I'm gonna do. What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, Melissa Ford. Yes. That is. Wow. That's How? crazy. You no, telling me no, you would trust? No, no, wait, 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 wait! You telling me you would trust a partner more than you trust yourself? No, it's not that. It's like no, no, no. It's, uh, no, it's not more than. Well, that's what you just, you just said, man. Huh? No, it's a, not more than. I'm just. I'm talking about the scenario. But so you, do, you you trust yourself more in the situation than you don't give them the same than. level of trust. Sorry. So then let me take out the more than. You don't think that they would do the same thing that you would do. They may or may not. I know what I won't do. Will it won't do? But why are you? With some, why, but why are you with somebody that you don't trust? I'm I not. Say I don't trust her. I do I'm, trust. Yeah, her. Yeah, word. I'm not. I'm not. I, I see where you're trying to take yeah. our scenario. Is it the guy the, you don't in, trust, or is it in, her? In the event that the nigga decide to take this somewhere where she don't want to take it, then what? Because that. Because oh, well, that. Wait. Because yeah. that don't exist in my scenario. In my scenario, there is. No way in the universe that in Starlets, my friend of 15 years, is going to take this away that I don't want this to go, which is, hey, me and my friend are out for all money in the strip club. We both mm -hmm. are on that. We're going to leave like that. It's mutual understanding. That does not exist in her scenario. If he wants to flip wherever they at, mm -hmm. what can she do? Well, she in Texas, so she'll shoot him. Right. But <laughs> but anywhere else normally. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. What does the woman do in that situation? Oh, so this is a this is a situation where you're you're you're, you're concerned I'm about a her man. safety. I'm no I keep I'm going to go back to my line. <laughs> I'm a man. Okay. Yeah. There's actual difference. I know that y'all new age, this woke bullshit that y'all on has made it so someone saying that to y'all is like an yeah, offense and attack an insult. Shit, yeah. But there are very important situations and scenarios where I'm a man needs to be said. And it should be acknowledged, not mm -hmm. just said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Acknowledged. I agree. And no. received the way it should be received. Here's the here's the kicker though. If I was in this scenario, I more likely than not would not go out with somebody that if I'm in a very serious relationship, I'm probably not going out with anybody that I had some kind of physical relationship with. Those re those relationships are literally like they are they're put to the side. Even if y'all like he said, it was 15 years ago. Yeah. And y'all are better than good. Great friends. It's been strictly platonic since like that that little Whatever it was, yeah. playing, whatever you want to call it, is closed, we can, over, and done. We can keep activities to the daytime. You know what I mean? Like, and just, you know. Why? That that would just be me. That would just be so, me. No, no, no. Why? Not that would just be me. That would just be you. In my, in, Why? In my, um, in my brain, that's just a form of respect. That's just, that would just be respectful in my brain. So I wouldn't want to leave anything. Why? Because people can't fuck in the daytime? No, I just, no, I just wouldn't. I mean, they I'm can. Asking. They then can. What, then can, what, can. What are you talking do? about? Yeah. I just. The strip club is open in the daytime. It's still dark in there. Did, <laughs> what do you think the daytime is being respectful of? There's still liquor for sale in the daytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything you can what do in the night, the, you can do in a day. What does it change? I it's just, just mean. It's bright outside, that's all. I just mean the activity level of what you would probably be doing would be a little just more, you know, basic and G-rated and not have people gyrating and, Shit. huh? <laughs> you ever heard of a day, day party? parties? <laughs> yeah. You ever heard of a day party? Let's yeah. have a day party for my birthday. Right. 
during the day. Brunches get freaky. Oh, you doing this Canadian shit you be doing? Okay. You definitely follow follow what we're saying. I guess it. I yeah. I guess it's just in my mind. It, I see a difference. Going out at night versus going out in the day. Going out at night because you feel safe. Because you feel safer in the daytime. Yeah, and also it's just because it's like. But let's pause on the daytime. Yeah. Seems to be very family friendly, G rated. You know that safer. sort of thing. G oh, wait, means safer. On. Have mm-hmm. you been to a brunch? Like a boozy brunch? Yeah, that's what brunches usually are. Definitely. Yeah, brunch well, not always. No, boozy sometimes. Brunches. Sometimes they're not boozy. Some kind of sober ass brunch. Yeah, I ain't never too. been to we a sober brunch. I mean, we know what we're we talking about. Listen, brunch is a fucking sport to women. Okay, there is different levels of brunch. And it's but, exhausting. But yes, I have been to like the super duper boozy brunches. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you know, like this still daytime family time. Ain't no family G-rated. at the brunch. Okay. They ain't no family at the They're brunch. They're fucking at the brunch. They are fucking in the bathroom. I have never but seen anybody fucking at the brunch. What? Ainsworth. Right. Maybe North. I have not been. Maybe <laughs> I have not been fucking. at the right brunches. You haven't. Yeah. You know, Clearly I've been not. To like but the wild you yet. saying G-rated and safer in the daytime mm-hmm. is indeed agreeing with what I was yeah. saying originally. No, so. that's what I started off by saying. I was like, in this particular situation, I kind of do agree. I think for a different reason. I think it's looking like less more about you're the man, and it's more like. I just look at that as a different level, like just respect. You know what I mean? To not be in the company of somebody that I let, had. Let me, let, yeah. me, let me ask you a question. Mm. Same scenario, going out with, with you going out with a person that you had relations 15 years ago mm-hmm. with, and he decides he want, he want more than just y'all hanging out right there. It's daytime. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's two in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What can you do? I would be like, you're fucking tripping and no. And why all of a sudden? No, no, no. You, you missed what I'm saying. He decides I'm doing this. Oh, and is going to try to take by force? Yes. Yeah. How the fuck am I friends with somebody for 15 years and I don't know he's a rapey bastard? It happens. You know how many people said I never would have thought he was like this until mm-hmm. he was like that? Mm. Mm. They just never knew. Listen, I'm, I'm, I miss CSI over here. I yeah, no. I'm, but just imagine. Okay. What can you do? I'm, what, what we're basically trying to say is it's the same thing that can happen at night. That can happen in the day. Joe's response of, hey, I'm a man. Meaning she can't do that to you, mm-hmm. to the man. Yeah. The man can do certain things to the woman. That's where it's, it's a difference. So him going out with a friend, ain't nothing going to happen that he don't want to happen. Right. With a woman going out with a dude, I'm something t- can happen that she doesn't want to happen. Totally fine. I mean, a woman can't get it all, but the probability, we play him, we play we, him we the probability. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying yeah. never. Yeah. Be clear. Yeah. And totally following and agree and in total agreement of that. Like, you know. And, you, and that doesn't matter day or night is what we're saying. So cause the, I'm just stuck on you saying, why is it pain you to agree with us? Yeah, because it sounds like you agree. <laughs> it pains you to agree with us straight men. <laughs> It's okay. It's all right. You didn't do nothing oh, wrong. Lord have mercy. You agree with some straight men. <laughs> yeah, but that, that you know, you know. Yeah, she, she can't she can't talk. publicly say that. <laughs> I know not clearly. You know, you know clearly. Oh, I had it's, another. It's us first then. I had another real good joke, I guess. <laughs> Double Arthur <laughs> Fist. I, I ain't saying it. <laughs> Double Arthur Fist. What? Go oh, ahead. I'm not say saying no. 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 My jokes are way too good. To do that, you nah, I say my joke, we, off. I say my joke. We just have to stop I do and not delete it anyway. So yeah. I'm chilling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Okay. Uh, that was fun. That was. Yeah, it was. That was fun. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what do you think about that? I'm a man thing now. It's okay. You can just say it. They just take it the wrong way. Think somebody saying I'm a man is like they think it's a slight to, yeah, them, yeah, to their yeah, womanhood. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's really not. Yeah, I'm, I'm only I'm talking about today. Mm-hmm. To hear I'm a man, anything manly, because they've associated. Oh man, it's okay. Prime month is over, yo. They, they've associated <laughs> being manly with toxicity. Oh, that's why. And that's what a lot of people. And that's, and that's a new age here too. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. new age. That's a new age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But mm. somehow this is where I get confused. Even the other day when I was like, um, it don't matter. That's when I get confused, where the new age stuff is coming from, like, some, she ain't new age. Damn. That's why it's confusing. Mm-hmm. This nigga is fun. She's... <laughs> <laughs> she with us. <laughs> yeah. She's been here for a minute with us. She... 
I don't. I want to hear more about that. That's so interesting to me. How did they? How the did they, game how did that they you? Y'all? The game. Yeah, the game that you came that is a up good in. The game that you came up in, <laughs> and were complicit in. I'm sure, without me delving too far into it. How does that person turn into this person? Reading tweets. No. <laughs> Social no. media yeah. programming. No. Yeah. All of yes. it. Yes. No. Memes, tweets, I had a Instagram, conversation with my mom yes. about this shit. That's really what it is. Me, me and my wife. It mm-hmm. was all. I, I grew up in a fucking matriarchy, damn near. Like sisters, moms, all mm-hmm. that sort mm-hmm. of shit. And we were talking about women's empowerment and women's role. And she was like a, a bra burning, women's rights fighting hippie in the 60s or whatever. She was Feminism like, in the 60s. Feminism, hard that body. Hardcore. Grew up in that whole mentality. But she's like, all this pits. shit today, like, this is not right. what I wanted. Like, mm-hmm. this is not what we were fighting for. We just wanted, like, equal payment. Like, mm-hmm. we don't want to be the dudes. Yeah. And that is true. That is true. <laughs> that is what women were fighting for back there. They were fighting for pay quality. They were, I mean, a woman couldn't have her own bank account um, without her husband or her father's p- permission if she wasn't married until 1976. So, like, that is accurate. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that a lot of, like, you know, feminists from the 60s and, and 70s and whatnot look at new age feminism and they're literally like, what the fuck is this shit? And that's, yeah. and totally, that's completely understandable. Like, feminism today is so segregated, honestly. You know, between black and white. Uh, For example, hashtag me too. Most people had no idea that it was a black woman that came up with that phrase, but it just kind of got co-opted by the white feminist, you know, the the modern day white feminist movement. Mm -hmm. And they applied it to their particular, you know, trial, tribulation, strife, et cetera, et cetera. But they excluded black women from the conversations. You know, I don't Mm want to like serious it out, but like, that's just kind of like a fact. Um, But I think that just like, um, we have access to just a different vocabulary and a different understanding. Think about mental health. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We talk about that ad nauseum at mm-hmm. this point. Everything is mental health. Everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think that concepts, once they become, you know, just kind of like oversaturated by way of concept, they have just become bastardized we've gone too far and we yeah and we lose. we've gone too far with yeah. all this shit yeah yeah exactly i agree and i agree even in terms of toxic mas- masculinity i agree okay. like you know what do you think about toxic femininity i a thousand percent that it exists is what that, is it that's what i was that's what i was leading towards you know the fact that toxic femininity is this notion that is that excludes people from the conversation. You know what I mean? Like, to me, it's these new age mindset of I can do whatever I want because I'm a woman, and if you say something, then you're being a toxic male. That's toxic feminin- femininity to me. I think it's just <clears throat> agree, or you part of the problem. That that that's exact. That's it. Yeah. No matter what, you can't even question. Correct. Like. A question don't mean I don't agree. I just want to get more information. Right. Mm-hmm. Like with anything else, we're logical mm-hmm. for the most part. So we'll try to, like when I hear two people in the, in the two different sides of something, I want to hear your side, mm-hmm. your side, mm-hmm. take my knowledge, formulate my own opinion. Oh, well, wait a minute. What did you mean by this? What is Like you can't ask questions today. Yeah. It's like you hear something or if this side says it, you just have to be with it or you're immediately part of the problem. Mm-hmm. And it's like it took our ability to reason away. True. I saw a post the other day Mm -hmm. and it was this woman. She was, I don't know, she looked like she was in Europe somewhere, maybe Italy, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's just her sitting there and it said, uh, it was TikTok and it had a bunch of, you know, things written on the screen, like 36 years old, single, no children, traveling the world, figuring it out, blah, blah, blah. Mm Mm-hmm. That seemed to me pretty innocuous. I went through the comments. My God, you would think that this woman had like committed like genocide or something mm-hmm. like that. There was, and the majority of the negative comments were, no, it was like almost 100% men. 
Okay. You know, and they were basically just like, oh, you're you're lonely and you're looking for you're you're setting yourself for a life of loneliness. And, you know, oh, that's you're just, so you're just giving your an ex, it, it, yourself an excuse to like go out whoring. And it's just like, did she? Wow. She said all that. You know what I mean? So it's just like that is an example of toxic masculinity that a woman embracing what her current state of life is and trying to enjoy herself mm -hmm. is well, you're all these things, you know, mm -hmm. just the assumption that you're a whore and you want freedom in order to like just be a slut and, and whatever else and, and, and shun societal norms. Well, to be clear, there is a large population of men out there that did not get enough pussy in their lives. Any. Or any at all. Incels. Incels. Yeah, yeah. And there, right there, is where you will find a huge pocket of toxic mas masculinity. It's true. It's rooted in insecurity. It's rooted in not having, you know, had normal experiences mm -hmm. that men expect themselves to have, you know, like interactions with the other sex, the opposite sex. So when it comes to toxic femininity, it's like nobody... I, I think laugh that, that you have trouble even saying that. What toxic femininity? <laughs> yeah, it's not the easiest thing to say, right? Does it? It doesn't have the same. It don't roll off the yeah, tongue. It doesn't have the same, same ring to it. You don't really hear people say this bullshit. Yeah, they don't. But it exists. People don't even know how to say it. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely exists. Yeah, listen, I'm not gonna be the one shouting at rooftops. I don't need a man for nothing, and blah 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 blah. Fuck that. I would like to be soft and pink and a kitten and curl up to yeah. a motherfucker every single night. Yeah. That's I would. The fun, that's the funny shit, though. What? Not you, but. Uh. You see everybody screaming, you know, toxic masculinity and all of this, and then at the same time want to embrace their soft life. <laughs> like, I don't need a man. I don't need a man. I want soft life. Right. Like, which is it? Uchi Wally Wally or is it one mic? Okay. In my personal situation, I have lived my life in a way where it. I've shown that I don't need a man because you know to pay my bills or blah 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 whatever mm -hmm. like I've, I've functioned and I've lived and I've thrived do I want one absolutely you know what I mean like but I want the right scenario so it's just like it's less I feel like the idea of like not needing a man has also kind of gotten carried away of but, like what 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 the concept of need actually is you know what I mean clear and, people and, need each other though no, we I'm, are Put here I know, and I and I agree with that wholeheartedly. You will get no disagreement from from me. Okay, like there is a there is something that is called touch starvation. There, these are very real things. We are human beings. We're social creatures. Mm -hmm. That sort Yo, of thing. Women algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm touch starvation. I, I That's all I, I got you. I saw it too. What? what? I saw it too. Oh, the touch starvation yeah, thing. I saw it, y'all. It's I, a it's a real yo, thing. This is this is this this is it. Why, you think, how, I, why do you think I? Why do you think I call y Stan with the fucking magic hands, dude? I'm just saying. <laughs> but you were saying about touch starvation. Yeah, but I'm saying like in terms of the concept of need, I think that people take project a lot of their own shit onto what somebody might be talking about. So when I say, oh, I don't need. They're like, oh, well, why don't you need? And it's just like, because I have had to function because I haven't found the partner that I feel like makes sense for me. Mm -hmm. I have had to, out of necessity, to live my life, survive and thrive and try to enjoy myself. I've had to do that. So mm -hmm. it's like I've proven that the need does not exist financially, monetarily. Mm -hmm. Now emotionally fuck yeah there's a need there's there's a huge need but it's also not there so you you work with the tools of which you have that's it until 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 you can add some shit to your toolbox that's just what i like to say you, you know gotta what I have mean? someone that you can sit around and talk shit about people with and that too that too <laughs> that too listen she said all that, said. <laughs> <laughs> that listen I love hearing stories and I love that yeah, yeah. I, I love hearing stories I, I love your relationship with Shade. I love you watching you guys you know like you guys have these moments where the room falls away and you guys just see each other and it's really endearing and it's really sweet you know I love seeing you and your wife I love hearing all the stories about how much you guys really like love being in your relationships mm -hmm. it's really really wouldn't really, trade it for anything it's really dope I really love that no, you know let me hit a trade no there's there is there's there's <laughs> literally nothing and I'm joking but for me that is what I'm looking for and I will not settle for less I will ra I'd rather be single 
and, you know, figuring shit out rather than just having a warm body in the bed with me. Yeah, I, but it's hard to get oh, there. It takes work to get to this that. This a crock of shit. No, it's <laughs> this true. This is a crock of shit. Why don't you believe me? Tell me. It's not that I don't believe you. Yeah. I believe that those are your wants. Yeah. I don't believe that your wants and your, I don't believe your wants and your behaviors to line up at all. Mm-hmm. Cappuccino. Cap of fucking Chino. Tell me, uh, say more words. The date you just went on. Yeah. If I'm listening to your words, that's the exact kind of guy you want to learn more about. The guy that can hold me accountable. Mm-hmm. The guy that, when he has something on his mind, will say it, be expressive. Mm-hmm. The guy that uh, won't, won't will try to casually ease it in rather than make a big, big, big fuss about it. Mm-hmm. Like, s- saying hey, are you normally late or I have a problem with you being late and I have a problem with your inconsistencies during our courtship. That sounds like the guy that you want more information on. Yeah, they're not. That that sounds compelling and intriguing if you're looking for the person that you say you're looking for. Nope, huge red flags. That was there. It was way, way, way too early to have so many fucking issues. Red fucking flag, like all over the fucking field. That's one thing. But those are significant issues. Yeah. No, no, no. That's. That, I'm sorry. That tells me a story. Listen, I've been on this earth long enough and dated enough to know what red flags look like and what future behavior looks like and fuck that but you but you uh, have but wait, yeah this mm-hmm. is trauma talking you haven't been on this earth long enough to know what the what's the opposite of red flag the green flags look like i know what green the flags, flags. Look, no, he, blue look, flags no 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 blue let's flags, no, uh, beige. beige beige and green flags are like the good shit you know yeah. no, beige flags it, it means the good stuff it's fine beige. Yeah, okay. don't <laughs> worry it's fine it's fine that was no look here's the thing is like one. i've had i've had really fantastic relationships. You tell women don't watch sports? <laughs> beige flags. No, that's it. <laughs> Google beige flag right now. No, You'll sure. see what I'm talking yeah, about. No. I'm a man. <laughs> no. yeah, I'm a man, yo. <laughs> a beige flag. I have had, I've had really fantastic relationships where it was reciprocal, it was respectful, it was, it was dope as hell. You know what I mean? Mm. Things happen, relationships end or mm. whatever. But... You know, so like I have that in my as as like in my arsenal to like be able to go back and see what works and what doesn't. That's a crock of shit too. Why? Because life is a series of moments and moments pass. So whatever happened at this juncture of the universe mm-hmm. and however things lined up there don't have shit to do with how and where they line up today at this age. With this Melissa, also Question. people, yes, are, people, are, I, no, I disagree with people that. are also different. Like, I definitely well, disagree with that. Well, maybe a red flag from Ice might not be a red flag from Joe. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. but the red flag from me, you could take something from it, and if you start to see it in somebody else, you could be like, that's you trauma. know what? That's trauma. That's, hey, hey, that's trauma. But that's that, but we all we are are uh, some of what we've been through. Nah, good and bad, bro. Nah, mm. nah. That's nah. what makes you who you are. Mm. Nah, the shit you've been through. Nah, that's part of it. That shouldn't be all of it. That shouldn't be all of it. I'm not saying the the good, What I'm saying about the flags is this. Back to Melissa's words and behaviors lining up. Mm -hmm. If Melissa was truly looking for the partner that she says she is, and she truly saw that as fulfilling the emotional need in her and and not for the mate qualities then something as minute as those two things it would not should not scare you away because the importance is seismic to me uh, to me you, they to me they were not small that's the thing is and that's 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 your that's i think that's both of your points is that something that would be considered really you know innocuous and small to you is massive to me and to me because i have dated very controlling men mm. I know what it looks like. I know, I know in the beginning. I know. That's why we keep saying it's trauma. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm in agreement. But, <laughs> no, but also, trauma also makes you. It's education. You have to pull from your trauma. Also, is there, is there such thing as good controlling? I don't. I no. I think that there's boundaries mm-hmm. and then controlling. Why are you trying to control somebody? They don't uh, belong to you. I think there is a such thing as good controlling. 
if I mean, maybe you, in child rearing, no, no, maybe. No. no. If if some there are some women out there that really don't like they they want, want to be controlled, not necessarily controlled, but led. Yes. Hey, more power. That's that's fine. And and they want you to call the shots, make the decision. They want they want. Oh, uh, an alpha. They mm-hmm. want you to handle business. And mm-hmm. I feel like the line between controlling and leading is a is a blurry, squiggly one. I like, agree. I agree. So while you may be turned off to something that feels controlling, that may have actually been leadership or something that could be a positive trait. To me, it to me it did not read that way at all. She That's, might not want to be. Con- she might not want to be controlled or led. Or led. You can't keep letting your. You can't let trauma. Uh, stop you from filling the, the vacancy. I don't think that it was, I don't think that it's based on... Why not? I don't think it's... I no, just, yeah. I'm, I'm, real talk. Because you'll never end up call, getting nowhere. Call the therapist, child. Dog, if... if, 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 <laughs> if <clears throat> I'm not the therapist. Using a controlling person example. If you've dated four, five people that were extremely controlling and now you see the, you, you have trauma from it mm-hmm. and now you see these traits in the new person I don't need to walk down there to know I'm going to fall in that hole because I know what this path looks like. So I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to get out while I can because I've been here before. Maybe not with you, mm-hmm. yeah, but, but I've I'm- seen enough of these signs and enough in different people to know, okay, the, the, the probability of you ending up like that is high and it's not a risk I want to take. But I've also, and that's based I've out of also your trauma. been with the person that because of your trauma, your sensor, your sensory is fucked up anyway. Yeah, your threshold's way so too low. So you can't even identify what the fuck is what because of your trauma and you're trying to actively lead yourself through it, which is my point in the example I used. Mm-hmm. Yes, I agree with everything you said, but it's way too early to put such a bold accusation or, or make such an accusatory claim on somebody saying, hey, you were a little inconsistent texting with me and you're a little late. You putting a whole lot on that. Nope. That is trauma. Here's, <laughs> but here's the kicker. That's trauma. Is, and if you're doing that with those things, then you never you never widen the hole to for the for the right shit to enter. For, for somebody to want to delve through all of the tough exterior Trump traumatic shit that Melissa got going in on. In this, in this, <laughs> I'm a, I am a healing work in progress. I do a lot of work. However, he mentioned it more than once. So it was like, you're somebody that harps on shit. You're somebody that given enough rope you know what I mean? You're going to be the person that is there. Hi, I perceive that as you are the type who will be hi, um, hypercritical. I don't fucking need that shit. And that, that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah. I see it Because it early. wasn't just that he and mentioned it. You don't want to deal it. with a hypercritical person? It, was ju- it wasn't just that he me- said it at dinner. He'd already said it. Y'all are the guy. Y'all are the motherfuckers who hate when the past is brought up. Like, why are you bringing up that shit? If it was already dealt with, why are you bringing it up again? And that was what he did. He'd already mentioned it in text. I'm not mad to pass. Why I'm bother? I wasn't addressed. Okay. Well, then you're you're an anomaly because most no, he men. Said if it wasn't addressed. If it, if it was addressed, then, it was addressed. It was addressed. And listen, I'm not yeah. sticking to this yeah. scenario yeah. Yeah. here. And I here's just, the like, other. And, and, it out. Yeah. But here's the other thing: is how important is sexual attraction? Fairly, yeah. extremely high. Yeah. <laughs> I told y'all from the rip, she didn't like this dude. Mm. That's really where it started at. I got that as more trauma. Really? My thing is, if you didn't like this dude, why are you even entertaining him and why are you going out with him? Because that, that's that's where I would draw, hey, I don't like this. I don't even need to, we don't need to do this for I, any reason. There's nothing, I already know nothing's going to come from it because I'm not feeling you. I 1,000% agree with you and agree that I shouldn't have gone. Absolutely. But answer him. Yo, why did you do it? I, told, I connect that to trauma. I told you the last time we were talking about this, I was basically saying, you know, like a lot of times women kind of just you know, go out. Let's go out with the good guy. Date outside the box, blah, blah, blah. See, see if something comes. That's a contradiction. I, toxic femininity. That, that is a I'm contradiction. I'm calling it. This <laughs> is toxic femininity. How important is sexual chemistry, sexual attraction, et cetera. And you, we'd only you're going outside your box. We you don't like this. We'd guy. only met, we'd only met once the day we the evening that we met, and it was very short. And then we just talked on the phone and we text and stuff Let like me that. Ask you a question. So I just yes. Upon that first mm-hmm. meeting, mm-hmm. did you see anywhere he could have got some pussy? 
Enough to give them her number, obviously. No, no, no not obviously. Women do that. That's foul. Women <laughs> That's do that. That's toxic. Toxic. toxic for, women That's do that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Women will do that. Yeah. What? They, get, I, I said... Entertain someone you, you have no interest in. Yeah. But that's why I bring this example up. Because that's where it gets compelling. Shut up, that's where it gets compelling. <laughs> mm-hmm. You don't like this gentleman, but you go out with him anyway. Waste his time. You text him and you call I'm, him. Waste his time. I'm, I'm going to assume and that. You're Melissa Ford, by the way. Yeah, you are who you are. You, you were who you was before you got here. I'm going to assume, because I've learned enough to know, that you are getting some type of something from this. It may not have to be from him. It's from him. I'm, I'm just saying, well, it may be shitting on him. Maybe I'm me. I don't know what it is because I'm not speculating like that. But you get something from going out with this person that you don't like, have no interest in, and see no future with. It's toxicity. I think it's toxic. But because, listen, but wait. He <laughs> felt some energy and addressed it. And somehow he got labeled as the toxic one or the one that's controlling or the signs of this is... Toxic femininity it gets to just mask itself in other things and mm-hmm. other people. We ask you about it, and you start talking about, well, that's just what women, that's another toxic fucking feminine. Yeah. Or they Let just me- turn it on us. Once you knew you didn't like this dude, mm-hmm. you, I, I could almost I see am how this agreeing went with you. Once boredom, I should... Like, you know what? I ain't had shit to do. Man, you know what? Melissa I know this Ford, nigga man. right here is hanging on to every word. Let me entertain you this for Melissa right Ford. now. Yeah. That's what I could see this already. Down. He, he had, <laughs> you're Melissa Ford. I'm dead serious. I'm not trying to be funny or controlling. <laughs> I'm saying you're Melissa Ford. Why not sit the fuck down sometimes? I do sit the fuck down. What do you mean? Oh, you, no, you're not addressing. We're not. Don't be literal with me. <laughs> <laughs> Follow my context of what I'm saying. Don't be literal with me. Mm-hmm. Sit the fuck down, as in, I'm Melissa Ford. I, this I don't have to do. I agree with you guys right now. I should not have fucking gone. But still, even in saying you agree, why did you do oh it? Oh my god, that's what I do. <laughs> I, uh, I know why. You was bored, and you so you knew this dude was green and was just would do whatever, and you just played with him. That's what it was. It I was it. so I was a cat playing with a mouse uh-huh. yes. until I until I, I, yes. until I just wanted to kill and it. And just, uh, no, yeah. until you was bored of it. Like, all right, mm-hmm. I got my fill. I, I, I was bored. I ain't have shit to do tonight. I know I could call this dude and he would be with it. That's why the texting was that, inconsistent. That, that, did that, not, that's wait, why that, the, that's that why didn't the, happen. But look, that's why the texting was inconsistent because you didn't really need to speak to him except for when you wanted to. Actually, that is not what happened. Okay. He actually texted me. He said, I've taken the liberty to make reservations on this day. He he did it. But you could have said no. That's You're right. But you exactly didn't. controlling. But you went. But you went. Why? And I ain't trying to put too much on Mel, but I I, I I'm gonna tell you how I'm I've done this. You've entertained the girl that I had no interest in because I was bored. Okay. That's why I, I'm, I'm calling the shots. I see it. Mm-hmm. I've done this. I know me and this girl. She don't have a chance in hell. Mm-hmm. But I ain't. I am literally bored. Mm-hmm. That's it. I will entertain the conversation. You'll go weeks without hearing from me. But you, you know what? I'm bored tonight. What's up? All right. I, now I respond back to a couple texts, and you're so happy to hear from me that you're going to engage engage in the conversation. Mm-hmm. All right. Now I'm off it. Now you're left on red. Now I respond back when I feel like it. Mm-hmm. That's boredom, and it's toxic. And that's what you did to do. You, you knew you wasn't going to get this nigga no pussy. You knew it. They say a woman <laughs> knows within the first five minutes of meeting a dude if he has a chance to get in the box. Mm-hmm. Is that true? No, there's been a couple that I was surprised by. I was like, ah, oh, didn't, I, you weren't on my bingo fucking card. Mm. Yeah. But for the most part, th- th- for the most part, like 99% and of the time. And that's why I asked yes. you that when you You're first absolutely. met him that night. You knew it. I'm not fucking this dude. You're right. I know. I'm, I know. I can't back out on this one. It's okay. I know. <laughs> It, listen, well, nobody perfect. It's okay. You want me to be my this day? Hell no. I can't handle that. <laughs> but no, that's it. Like I said, I've been there, so I completely understand. Okay, when you okay. Just... So, real question: True. Is it terrible to to go to to casually date when you're bored to waste or somebody's when... time? I don't think so. If if it's uh, if, it really... if it's fairly it's... um if it's communicated to some degree. 
to some level. I'm, I'm not hella, looking I'm, for anything. You, you start letting them know all of that, but if it's different for women that have been done. Awesome. Women are more arrogant than men. Yeah, he, he said women are more arrogant than men. Yeah. Yeah. Because y'all don't believe y'all can be rejected. Mm -hmm. I agree mm -hmm. with that too. I agree. Uh, women, we don't take rejection well because it doesn't happen right because yeah, they think because, happen, they, yeah. because 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 y'all think men will fuck anything. Not saying that you're anything, mm. but women think men will fuck anything. So how dare you not no, no, want to no. fuck with to me? To be clear, they think all men will fuck anything. That's what I'm saying. All men, because there are a, a handful of men that will fuck anything. But I'm, they think well, all, they think all, all men. If you will have a dick, you will fuck anything. Hand mm. anything. Yeah. So how dare you not? Mm -hmm. What? Now the attacks come. That's how you know they take rejection bad. The second you're not on it, the attacks come. Oh yeah. Now you're now you're whatever. a lot of other things. Yeah, that yeah you're yeah. not. Just mm -hmm. because you don't want her. We're different. I'm a man. I mean, to be fair, when women reject men, it can result in death. So just just to be fair. I agree. You know? too. I agree. Yeah. So both sexes a lot of the time. People don't like rejection. People don't like rejection. People so let, like rejection. let's not put it on, you know, men or women. Who takes it worse. You're who correct. takes You're it correct. worse because, right because it's because women shit gets may take it worse, but funky. men may take it to a further extreme. So mm -hmm. I, I'm I'm not, yeah. I'm I'm not mad at that. Yes. People don't like rejection. Yeah, people don't we like can just, yeah. So I, yeah, so I just I you know, just in terms of like the casual dating thing, I mean sometimes people casually date because you're you find out more casually dating about dating the don't wants than you do from dating the do wants. Mm -hmm. You really find that out. And sometimes, sometimes people surprise you. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you don't expect. The, the, that's the that's thing why is you surprise. can't expect. Yeah, but exactly. you weren't going out with this dude to be surprised. We're not doing that. You weren't going out even hoping he surprised you. I don't got to cut this shit. Yeah, that's, that, we're not going to roll okay. with that. We're not going to roll with that. shit, Melissa Ford. I'm still on this particular dude. You, wasn't, you didn't think he would surprise you. You weren't hoping he surprised. Sometimes you'll go out with somebody and hoping shit be a little different. Mm hmm That wasn't this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it wasn't this, man. Mm-hmm. You, you got me. I know. You got me. I've been there. Yeah. Trust me. What was traumatic about the dude that was trying to buy y'all drinks at the skating rink? Mm. Bugaboo. He didn't know how to leave it alone. He just didn't. He went about it What does that mean? I thought that was a racist term. Huh? Jigaboo. Uh, That's the racist oh, oh, term. <laughs> so okay, bleep, bleep that out. Bugaboo and Jigaboo are not the same, by the way. Yeah, yeah they're not. I don't know what that word means. That's, they're not the same. Oh, Destiny man. Child had a whole song about bugaboos. Uh, yeah. Oh, that clears it. <laughs> well, Mr. Yeah. Music Man. Hey, just just so we know <laughs> where, where women they are. Getting been racist. All I don't of know. Like, just like that, buy the girl a drink and follow her around the club all night. Like you don't know how to play a cool. There's, yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's doing too, too there's, much. Too, yeah. So what that was one of the things that Mr. You know whatever had to say about buying drinks you know he was he'd sent drinks over to the table um with my girlfriends and he said something about you know like you know i, I bought you and your friends drinks and i you know i never do that and i was like why like wh why mention it and why do, do you want a doggy biscuit when did he tell you that when did he, he say said that? that at the dinner i hear trauma in everything mel, mel says <laughs> and i was like every I don't single thing i just hear that she was out with a corny nigga like, why do you have to? T why do I have to tell you that I never do that? Because I want brownie points. It's for it. weird, it's corny. man. It's corny, it's corny shit. That's super corny. Yeah, it's, it's corny it, shit. I have a question. This sure. is mm. how do I know that the man Melissa Ford ultimately falls in love with is not corny? Mm. I might that, fall that, in that love with a happen. corny motherfucker. That I, may I very we, we much that. might we don't do know that. that. Yes, that don't change the fact that this is still corny. But if I right. don't, got it. There's that's, levels that's of corny. corn. That's all I'm saying. That is corny. But if I don't know that corny won't be the end goal, then why am I so thrown off by corny? But, he, but here's the thing is, listen, we try different shit on for size. Hey, niggas you know, we don't, never know niggas what's don't like hoes. Who don't? Niggas. Niggas yes, don't. Do. Niggas in their brain, none of them That's say. Niggas, niggas are lying. I'm going to. No, I'm telling you that the evolution from puberty. Boys don't grow up and say, the hoe is who I'm going to marry. No, they no, don't nobody say that. says that <laughs> to That's themselves. No. Mm -hmm. You learn that about yourself in real time. Hey, that was some whole shit. All right, well. <laughs> 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 to the okay, rose. So, so, put that to the I don't want to sound like we're whole shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah they they but I think that they know I'm never whole shit. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think nobody up here is whole shit ever. Yeah. But corny for guy is whole for girl. 
Is it? What's then? Yeah, than, it's. I, I would say that there's the, there might be a, a, or broke, a, which a, is a comparison. Uh, synonymous with corny. Corny has levels. They use that corny shit like men use hoe. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, do you, getting back to your original question about roller skating, mm. dude. Uh-huh. So I disagree. Get, hold, put a pin in that. So when he mentions that, you know, having bought the drinks, this is over a month ago, he bought the drinks and I'm just like, why the fuck you bringing that up? You know, like, oh, I never do that. And I'm like, but why? Because I think it was so, supposed to get me some points. So, yeah, no, no, no. So, but I'm like, or, he's, you're ta- or he's talking to you. So hold on. So I was just like, but what's the point of, br- yeah, what's the point of bringing that up of like, I never do, why wouldn't you do that? You know, I'm so, I, and so I said, you know what? There's two types oh, of guys. Oh, hold, wait, hold, no, 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 wait, hold on, you hold lost, on. You're losing me. No, wait, hold on. I said, there's two Two types of guys. Uh-huh. I was like, there's the guys that send drinks over to a woman or her friends or whatever, and they literally are just like appreciating beauty and say, hey, bleh, and cheers, okay, and As that's they should, it. Right? No, 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 just hold on. But then there's the guy that thinks because he buys you a drink, he has bought your time for the entire night and he hovers like a fucking helicopter and yeah. he just becomes a nuisance. And that was the guy at the fucking roller skating. But why ring. does the options, why do, yeah, why do the options stop at two guys? Yeah, there's, guy. there's, there's more guys. Yeah. No, than I, just those two. I know that there is, but I'm just, I'm talking about intention. Me I'm talking too. About, I'm talking about intention behind the act. And I'm talking from the perspective of being a woman who has had, uh, like. Trauma's talking right now. It's not trauma. I keep trying to get to a blank canvas. What about the guy who never did that and finally saw someone he thought was beautiful enough to do that for mm-hmm. and wanted to express it? I think that's the first guy I'm talking about. The first, no, it's not. What's the first? What's the first guy I'm talking about then? I no. literally said. No, you it's said the, f- the guy that acknowledges her beauty, so she he sends some drinks. Yo, you fine. Yeah, I'm talking about the guy. Said? But no. I'm going to tell you that he did that. I'm talking about the guy who didn't know that about himself. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, I can't believe. And I y'all just did are that. the people that brought that out. So he expressed it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Talk. Ver- he verbalized it. I guess That's the, not the first It's a guy. tone thing, I think, probably. It depends on how you say it. No, like, her sensors are all over the fucking place. So it's it's two boxes. Mm. Because I'm pulling from my traumatic ass experiences. You either the nigga that recognized fly bitches and know to just give it up, mm-hmm. which is... That's not... That no, is, that's not what I'm saying at all. That is exactly no, the first a, option you said. Me, I what, think the guy that... The guy that that you brought it out of him. He ne- he never knew that was his thing. I don't think he mentions that on the first date, though. I might tell you that later on down the line. Like, yo, I ain't gonna hold you. You know, when I first got with you, man, that, yeah, the you, guy you, that you don't did know, something different. The guy that don't know shit about shit and ain't no telling when he might say it. He don't know when okay, the right and you time can, to say it is. All I'm saying is there are more options than the two that she named, which is the guy that's trying to get clout off the shit and the guy that just salute. I I'm, that. I'm That's just, all I'm saying. I'm, I'm just talking about the act of buying the drink and then what the guy does afterwards. Now, no, that's, that's not yeah, true. Yeah. You, are, you are characterizing a man from the action. You're not just talking about intent and action. You're talking about profiles. I'm to... You are creating a profile... To answer... To, off the action. But... To answer a question, a very direct question. What was it about the guy at the skating rink? Mm. And I was like, he is that guy. Every woman knows that guy Mm. that has bought her a drink and thought he bought her time for the rest of the evening. You all know that guy. Y'all know know him. That That is a profile, absolutely, that we are all familiar with. You all know the guy that does that. Every woman has had that shit happen to her. That shit is fucking annoying. Actually, as a dude, I've had that happen with a girl buy you a drink and now wants to hang around you the whole fucking time. Wow. Did See? Look. There you go. So it's something that we all understand. And to answer the question that was that guy mm-hmm. you know what I mean that's why it Ooh, was I want to throw another guy in the mix too go, I Go mean sure I'm sh- there I'm, I'm not saying that there's only two I'm not, I will take that off the table mm-hmm. I'm not saying that there's only two but I have been and it's not trauma speaking it's literally experience mm-hmm. when I walk into a bar do I expect that somebody's going to fucking buy me a drink no I don't have that expectation does it happen like a lot Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And I am very cognizant of intention because I have it happen so often. Then how do you expect to gain new experiences? I walk outside and it's it's a new day. 
And it's it's open for new experiences to happen oh, for me. No, no, no. Directly respond to my question. If if what you're saying is, yo, I'm pulling from all of my years. I know I've been around these guys. I know that these guys is it's signaling for me. I get to fuck away from it when I, when I when I when I feel that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, well, if that's the case, then how do you go about new uh, new experiences? I know that every day is a new day. But if when you start the day, something happens that you register as something else, even if it's not that, and you run from it, then how do you build up new experiences? You come across a person that don't give you that, that quote unquote which, reference. Which gets yeah, and me and back I, to my original point. No, but also. If your trauma has I fucked will, your will, sense, no, your no, no, senses no. up. I, I'm going to help you out with that. But wait, let me reply okay. to what he's saying. If your trauma has fucked your senses up, then that person is never going to enter. Melissa has corny niggas out of the room. The nigga that asked her why she was late, she got the fuck out of here. The nigga that really wanted to get to know her that bought the wrong plane ticket, she got him the fuck out of here. Like, sitting here for months... If you just listen to the reasons that Melissa Ford is, is getting men the fuck out of here and then listen to the man that she says she wants, how are those two roads going to do this is what is my question. Mm. It's not just these scenarios that it's, it's a culmination mm. of all of the scenarios. There is so many other factors in play. I'm not even going to go into it because we don't have all motherfucking day However, sure <laughs> however, sure however this, is our, this is the day to have all day. <laughs> we got a heart out. I don't know she got. Anyways, so you heart out. But, <laughs> What's your heart out? She got Corey, a would you, Corey, would you say? <laughs> wait, wait. Ah, uh, you said three. He tried to change that shit. Oh, shit. Y'all got a hard out on an off, yeah. off day? No, oh, yeah. no, no, no. It ain't a hard out. So, but wait, hold on, hold on. Just hold on just one second. I, got no hard out. I got a hard out. The I'm one. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't beefing. The one thing that you probably cannot take into consideration, you call it trauma, but as a woman, what you have to do is you have to be hyper vigilant about your sense of personal safety. And you have to understand that sometimes accepting something, a gift, a drink from a guy, it's the wrong guy. And that is something that you have to take into account. So when somebody says, hey, let me buy you a drink, you have to do an assessment of what you believe the intention is for that. That is that is a huge, massive factor that you guys don't have to take into account. I, I find that I, I'm sure that dating is you must be very difficult. Like, I have friends that are it's my age, and I'm, we're about the same age, but mm -hmm. I'm a little bit younger, and they are single, and they're saying how hard it is to find someone to date. It's very, it's very And then throw yeah. in on top being beautiful and rich and, well, famous, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Successful. Yeah. I've, and a woman, I've, that's gotta be, it's, it's very, gotta be difficult. It's very complex. Yeah. It's, it's very complex, and like, a lot of my, a lot of my counterparts, we talk about this a lot, and we're just like, We'd rather stay single than settle for like something that just does not work. You know what I mean? Mm. You can keep you can keep looking, you can keep dating, and you can keep you know, or or you don't. You know what people, I mean? A lot of people come and to when that. You say that Mark. that answers my fucking question, which is why I don't know why you go back and forth with me. So the words of "Hey, there is an emotional void <laughs> that I would like to fill." No, you don't want to fill it. But this, you, you are but fine. You, you do want to fill it. But no, 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 no. Look, let me. You do want to fill it, but you've also but not accepted at the expense that it might of not yourself. be filled. Okay, so you don't want to might not be filled. Yeah. You'd rather say you don't want to fill it. No, you do. But what am you I? You don't gonna, hear all of these things. Uh, it's and, not black and, and but it's, shun people for all of the reasons that she is saying, and then turn around and I say, I want to fill it by the wrong person. Pause. Yeah. Oh, please. That's trauma. That's not trauma. That, that is, is trauma. No, that's knowing that's knowing yourself and knowing what is not I'm, gonna I'm fly. I'm I'm you, you know what I mean? Are. Like I know you are. I, the, it's it's not gonna fly. Like you're you're just not it. You are not it. You are not the fucking guy. If yeah. it's honestly, if it's trauma, I feel like you don't even give a person a chance. Say it again. If it's if you if you're basing it off trauma, you're not even giving a person a chance. You're I'll give you a shot. That, yeah. I'll give you a shot. Well, but the second ice, you, you that do something that's, that's what I'm saying. But you are, because the second you, you you're giving you give a guy a shot. Where it's was just, the shot? Just, Where? Nigga, we went out to dinner. 
I, I gave you a I, shot. You, just to fuck it up. 15 minutes ago, you said that guy didn't have a shot before you left the house. You didn't want to but go. We, but she also, I, I'm a, I did say You that. said that. But she's also said people can surprise you. I'm just saying you going out with that guy. I'm saying no, they can't if they can't. If that you, if you have he, 970 like million different walls up, then what is the probability that someone can surprise you? It's low. And that's How why low? Lot, very low. And that's why a lot and of people say, if it's that hey, low, then you can't say, I'll, hey, there is an emotional void that I would like to fill. <laughs> I still think you can because uh, your next part is at what expense do I want to fill this void? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I don't want to deal with the person that, like he said, hey, if I would, if 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 filling the void meant filling the void with the person that's controlling, I'd rather not fill the void. I still want to, but I don't want you to be that type of person. And if I start seeing traits in you that tell me there's a high probability that you're going to be that type of person, I'd rather not fill the void. That's just one example. You, she's she's meeting dudes, and then once she starts to see shit, that's like ah, uh, again, experience. We've dated a lot of people. We not, and that's where you, when you're younger, you don't have that much experience. So you let the wrong people in. As you grow from your experiences, you like, up, oh, no, no, no. I saw that before. You yeah. ain't gonna make it to where the last person made because I, I, I see the warning signs. Mm-hmm. So no, I'm cool. I still would love to fill the void, but up, oh, shit. Not you. Let me try somebody else. Then you would. Not love, you. Then you wouldn't love to fill the void. It's, I, I challenge that. It's with that. it's it's so. I think you because, because, it's so because the void is greater than you. So you wouldn't just keep relying on your traumatic brain and thought process to filter you I don't through. think that the void is greater. I don't think oh, so. Oh, well, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah I don't think there, so. There we go. There I, think, there I go. think that there's... My sense of peace might be greater than yeah, filling that the part. void. I think that... You don't think that you would be a better version of Melissa Ford if that void was filled? I'd be a, that, I, is, that is my I, direct question to you. I think better is the wrong choice of word. I think I different. think yes. I think yes Thank to you. answer your question. Thank I you. think yes. Thank you. Now, do I think she would be a better person, a better Melissa Ford, if the wrong person filled the void or it cost her her peace? No. The answer is no. So then you start to say you're weighing it up. Oh, are you looking more like you could possibly be the right person or the wrong person? Oh, I'm seeing traits in you that's that's. Tilting the, tilting the scale towards the we wrong side. We understand the same things. Leaving we just alone. are interpreting them different. When, and when the scale is, and when the scale is doing that, and it's doing that, mm-hmm. then it can't be down here. And you say, "Hey, I'm looking for this person." A few years. You're not. You're leaning more toward no one getting in here and me accepting that. A few years ago, a few <laughs> a few years ago, I met somebody where it was instantaneous, like instantaneous the strange thing is is like he reminded me of my dad when I met him except just a way better looking version of my father and it turned out his birthday was like the day before my father's birthday I was like oh fuck a fucking Gemini Jesus hey, yo, yo, yo. I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry God bless you but God I knew I was in for it and it's just like everything about I was so attracted to this person that it scared the shit out of me I was terrified I fell in love really fast Mm -hmm. with all my trauma with all my experience with all everything I came with we have that uh, capability to make people fall in love with us quick go ahead (laughs) Gemini thing gotcha okay Um, with all of that with all of my experiences with all everything I I couldn't help myself it was like moth to the flame it was like Mm -hmm. magnets and my god this relationship almost killed me. It almost killed me because he was as bad as I suspected he was going. He didn't give a fuck about my peace. He was so, he was man- manipulative. He gaslit the shit out of me. It was torture being with this person. But the good moments, the great moments, which is how it started, obviously, mm. I was hooked, line and sinker. I'm, I literally don't know how I survived this relationship. It took every ounce of strength I had and more to pull myself away from this person. That showed me, A, that I have an, I, I have an enormous capacity for love and, and, I, and how much I want it. Mm-hmm. But it also showed me I can never, ever, 
ever do that at the expense of my mental health, of my peace. It is not worth it. I can't. That's it scared the shit out of me that I that I almost didn't make that. And so now when I'm like, you know, considering somebody, I take into consideration will I lose myself in this? Mm. You know what I mean? I, I I can't afford that. I can't afford that because I got I got to take care of me. I got to take care of myself. You don't hear the trauma in that sense. Yeah, but I also hear awareness. Okay, I'm done with him. <laughs> All right. You what, got bro? You got it. You got like, it. You got it. I'm done. I hear no, no, somebody no, it, saying, it. like, yo, I'm, I'm not, I, like, I value. Self-awareness not is, 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 not, is not common. with nobody else, yo. It's, it's, it's I self, get it. Yeah. Self-awareness is. Well, self- at the end of the day, too, finding someone that you're going to be compatible with in a long-term relationship is going to take some, um. Compromise, and that's you yes. know what I mean. Like the and person that the person that you get drawn to, like person. a moth to the flame that you want to fuck all day, every day yeah. for the rest of your life, is probably not the good person for you. you but hold on, I mean? but wait, wait, wait. But I also no. no There's let, usually some type of trade off. Wait, wait, let me and, and let me not let me let me I not. I want to hear more about the trade off from Melissa. That but let me not limit it to the fact that I was just sexually attracted to this person. Mm. The conversations that we used to have about art, about film, about trap, about everything I could nerd out with this person and that's Uh very important to me you know what I mean I didn't have to dumb myself down in any way shape or form for this person which was another part of the intoxication level Mm -hmm. because I could I could really be the me that I I've had to hide Mm -hmm. or like suppress in other relationships because the person just sometimes was not on my level intellectually Mm -hmm. or whatever the case was so that was another part of the intoxication was that we could just literally sit and talk mm-hmm. for hours and the whole amazing. room would fl- fall away. You know what I mean? So if your for- sensors could be wrong one way, why couldn't it be wrong the other way? I'm not saying... I'm not saying that my decision making is like perfect because nobody is. Nobody is perfect. We're all walks. We're all like works in progress. Some are, you know, further along in their healing journey than others. I work extremely hard on, you know, self-awareness and becoming a better version of myself on a daily basis. But the reality of the situation is, is that as I have seen successful relationships, I have determined that like is way more important than love. You know what I mean? It's wonderful when you mm. it's wonderful when you love somebody. When you actually like that person, there's certain things you're just not going to do. You know, you have a, you have so much respect for him or whatever sure. the case is. Like is you're really right. really important. Friendship in a relationship is extremely important. Absolutely. Love is infatuation a lot. Of exactly. Times. Like is what or carries disguised as. Like is what carries you through the years. Yes. You know what I mean? Love go, love does this. You mm-hmm. know, it undulates and shit like that, you know? And so that for me is what I am essentially looking for is not just the love, not just the infatuation. That's cool. I like you. But I really want, I want you to be my homie, mm-hmm, my yeah. ride or fucking die. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Like, you know, whatever we do, if we're in, if we go to galas together, eat rubber chicken dinners together, whatever, or we just sitting on the floor watching true crime shit, whatever it looks like, that's it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that shows up fairly quickly. You know what I mean? The friendship aspect True. shows up fairly quickly. Like, I really fuck with this person. And that is very rare. That True. is extremely unique. True. You know what I mean? And if you find it, which it seems like you guys have. And that's how people be finding it. That's, that's, that's fantastic. That, there's a surprise. Like, you find that in a person that you didn't even expect and to that is why, where the and, and that is why it's not necessarily boredom. Sometimes it's like, hey, shit, I could be fucking wrong. Let me go and see if I am wrong in what my current assessment is. And that is why I went. Other than, you know, like... <laughs> hungry. <laughs> bored, bored and hungry. Dangerous combination. <laughs> but you feel me on the whole nah, like thing. Nah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, nah. yeah. Okay. For sure. <laughs> Corey. Somebody give Corey a mic, goddamn. <laughs> Yo, Corey is over there trying to hide him. He over there going crazy <laughs> over there. <laughs> oh my God. Corey. Oh my God. <laughs> That's why I love them. No, I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Women have it the best. They really do. They got these. Nah, after God. listening to you, nah, I feel you. Nah, that ass. Yeah. Very convincing. Do you They're guys feel... <laughs> that was a crock of shit. 
every, every last drop of it was a crocodile. It was so not. Nice. I'm jealous. Where's, not too much on Mel neither. Where's Sade? Where's Sade not right too, now? Where is she? Not too much on Mel. Huh? Everything was a crock of shit. It was so not a crock it's of a shit. Crock of shit. <laughs> Everything. Yo, Patronis. Yo, homie. That's down. how she's sourcing this pe- yeah, these people. Yeah, oh, I can nerd out with him. <laughs> yeah. so. That's important. That, that, that yeah. is important. Being, being able to be my, not myself. It. And that's, I think it is. That's what she's saying. Yeah. I agree with that. Being able to be yourself. Okay. I, I agree. Are you guys comfortable enough to like fart in front of your... Like, I, I, that's the level of comfort I want to get to. I am, but I get in trouble for it. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. I just told Why, you got SBDs? Saddle no, the Deadlies? No, no. Nah. <laughs> the opposite of that. But... Oh, they smell like flowers? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever farts. <laughs> What are you guys like? I like, get in trouble for it though. Yeah. Not nah, a funny. I just had a conversation with Shorty about this like maybe two days ago, mm-hmm. and because we we joke about that farting shit all the time, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna <laughs> fart and just trap you under the covers with it. <laughs> She's like, yo, that'll be the day we get violent. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be the day. Like, don't play. But um, yeah, I'm completely comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Overly comfortable, but too comfortable probably. Yeah, yeah. I'm gassy. <laughs> it's gonna happen regardless. I don't know. Like, what I'm, I'm super. She still be gassy. trying to be pretty with it and shit, but it happens. And it's like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, yo, dog, stop. I didn't, I didn't see you in every way possible. Now, like, we here. Stop. Yeah. Yeah, I try to think of that. Like, what ways have I not seen my girl and why she not seen me? And like, yeah. we shower together. She start getting the feed. Like, she done. She got. You know, <laughs> you know me. You got me. Yeah, you got you. Yeah. This is what it is. You, you know what under my balls look like. I don't. <laughs> like, you, know, you just know Listen, me. You see me on complete soft. We here now. Oh, you shit. see me. You see me cry. Cold soft too. Cold, what? <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like ain't nothing to talk about no more. <laughs> Cold soft is different. Cold soft is different. <laughs> shit trying to crawl up in you, boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's seen you cry? What were you crying about? You know this Joe, Joe we're talking about, right? It's emo Joe, man. He <laughs> might cry now. Oh, you don't know that I'm a cry. You don't know I'm a cry? I didn't know. He cried like you. Why? Yeah. Why is no, he so uncomfortable when, he, when I cry then? Because he want to be the crier. No. <laughs> no Can't outcry me in my house. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Joe cry. In my def- I don't cry. I don't work cry. Yeah. Like you work cry a lot, <laughs> a lot, dude. I'm and sensitive. I mean, they don't know, but you work cry like a lot. We didn't talk about that over charcuterie. <laughs> <laughs> like if you is, you will just <laughs> just run off. And now it's awkward. We can't do that though. We're men. And there's shit that like there's words and shit that we gotta like. Oh yeah, we gotta. Oh, yeah. We gotta. Oh yeah. Be aware of you at all times. The power and presence of women. I don't think I cry like you, but I cry a lot. Okay. I cry a lot. Yeah, crying is cry. fantastic, by the way. Mm-hmm. When last time you had a good cry? It's been a while, actually. I need like one. a good one. Yeah, I need one. I'm due. <laughs> I'm not asking you, Mel. Joe, <laughs> last time you had a good cry? Oh, I'm sure it was recent, probably a couple of weeks ago. The other day, which is right after, right after, right after work, Fourth, fourth of July. <laughs> well, you cried on the fourth. <laughs> the fireworks section. No, the fourth, fourth of July. Well, my morning started away, uh, uh, me and Shorty, and then I got here, and the day went a kind of way, and then afterward, the congestion and the fireworks, and just everybody I bumped into that day, I felt was like real stupid. Mm. Not everybody, but I'm saying out in the world. Yeah, yeah. Like, so it's, it's one, one of those, of those days where games. everyone's yeah. rubbing the wrong way. So now yeah. I'm at the we at the hookah spot and we just having a hookah. And I know I'm not being enjoyable. I'm mm. not, I know I'm not being a pleasure to be around. Mm-hmm. Okay, like and she trying, she trying to talk and trying to save the night, but blocking all of that. I don't want to that shit. Fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Cool. So the next day she's like, "Yo, you were a real grump at the fucking hookah spot." And I'm like, "Well, yeah." Said, why? What was wrong? I said, all of y'all. I, I, I was sick of all of y'all, and I didn't want to say anything to that, but my whole day consisted of dealing with other people's thoughts. Mm-hmm. And at no point today was I able to just be with my thoughts and that be the end without hearing somebody else's thoughts. And honestly, I just wanted to go home and cry the whole night, is what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. But we were out. Mm-hmm. So to avoid crying at the fucking table, I just sat there looking stupid like this. Mm-hmm. But I always want to cry. Anything that you consume has to has to go out. And mm. I consume a lot. Mm. I consume a lot. I can't let none of that shit sit inside of me. So I'm I'll bust out and cry. Mm. I'll cry over a show. I'm I'm an empath. I'll cry over somebody else's pain, somebody else's experience, mm-hmm. somebody else's death, murder. I can watch the news and 
cry. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I can just cry. Yeah. yeah. Million yeah. little things since last time I good cried. That was the that one. Was some bullshit. I that almost was... cried like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> See? That's why, that's why I didn't ask Mel. That's exactly why we I didn't, didn't ask Mel. Yeah, we didn't ask her. I totally said I'm skipping Mel. And yeah. into, I did say that. Y'all heard me, Intentionally, right? yeah. The Bob Marley biopic is coming out. And it's just, I don't know. Like, I just, I saw it in the music and I was, I just... I, I almost the trailer got you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <you're> right. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Crying off the trailer is sick. <laughs> Sheesh. It's Bob Marley, though. No doubt. I catch myself, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know if it's just having a baby girl, but it's little shit that I... I think that's it, Bro, too. that yeah. shit just... And somebody... Wale told me this. Mm-hmm. When, when before my daughter even got it, he was like, watch. You just going to find yourself getting emotional out of nowhere. Mm. And I'm like... I'm like, please, what are you talking about? It's little shit, and I'll just go. Where is Wally? I'm with him on that. And she'd be like, Daddy, you okay? Don't ask wherever no, he is. Good. Leave he's him good. be. He's good. I'm so impressed at the fact that Wally has been this low for this long. Low. I, listen, it's I don't been think like, that's I don't my guy. Years. Let me tell you, that's my guy. I don't think he's ever done before. I've, I probably speak to him, like, in people in the industry more than anybody else. Mm. I've been telling Wale probably since at least 2014, dog. Just stop. Mm. Just put your music out and stop. <laughs> don't do. Don't say nothing. Don't read nothing. Just stop. Yeah, his Twitter was um, a turnoff for a lot of people. I guess and that's, that's a what nice I told way him. to say. That's what I told him. I'm like, yo, you've given people too much of your personal thought. Mm. Like they, I was like, that's what's really separate. He he chalked it up to some, some other things. I'm like, that's really what's been separating you from the Coles and them. Mm-hmm. Is because they don't know nothing they, about these. They niggas. don't tweet. <laughs> Kendrick, no, they don't tweet. You, if you, you, if you're left off of this, you're gonna let your thoughts be known immediately on Twitter, and it just rub people the wrong way. I'm like, yo, dog, just let the music speak, <laughs> let the let the work speak. He's got to hop out a little bit though. When it's time, yeah, and it needs to be calculated and mm. planned. He, bro's good though. Even if it looks unplanned, it needs to be planned. Yeah, when's I'm, the last I'm happy, time he, I'm happy for him. When's the last time he re- released? Music. It's been four music. years, probably. No, no way. No, no way. No way. No, no. One no. chill with Jeremiah just came out a few years ago. No, no, no. He did after. He did something that after shit that. That was a minute ago. That was pre-pandemic. He did no, something after. Was it? On chill. I think it was. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Pre-pandemic. No way. I'm, time is fucked up right now. Yeah. Yo, yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's true. true too. Nah, the name bell ring and all of that. That was uh that, Oh, that's my yeah, song. Yeah. Yeah. 2019, Archer, right? that, that's 2021. So that was that a, project. Oh, okay. That's a single or an EP? No, that's the album. album. Okay. 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 Who right. named bell ring? That I forgot like he, that's my yeah, shit. He, he's but it felt bro's good. Like it felt like it's been a long time. Well, it's still been a long two years a long time mm-hmm. now to not and, really and be music, active. And, and the way the music is. Yeah. Off what you were saying, I cry all the time with my of my kids Dog, all the time over I cry over anything. family in general a lot I can't imagine what it's gonna be like with kids I'll be a, I, I might have to just keep tissues in my pocket and shit. <laughs> I did some family shit yesterday like I I didn't want to do it um y'all know my family's religious I tell y'all all the time mm. and there, there's this theater it's like way out in Amish country PA somewhere mm. damn near by where I used to live it's called um, that's your hood. <laughs> nah, but it, it, <laughs> Holy, it, it, like, it's, it's you called, got the whole family out there. No, <laughs> they had me out there because mm. there, there's a there's a particular people oh, they, come from all over to go to this one theater. Okay, it's, it's um they do religious plays. Okay, so it's called the Sight and Sound Theater. But okay. this shit is some other shit, bro. They had like live animals running up and down the aisles <laughs> and people flying. It wasn't just a play. Okay, like three stages, one in front of you. The sides are stages. This was some. I was like, oh, talking about the Bible, shit. It's the story of Moses. Oh. Uh, but made it fire. But anyway, my grandmother um, turned 83. Okay. So for her birthday, that's what she wanted for all of us to go there. Okay. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'll do that. And it just felt so good. Like you hear people losing people and all of that. That shit just felt good yesterday. I like when we got back, everybody's hugging each other and stuff and mm. got a little emotional. And I'm just like, Aww. damn, am I that dude now? Where I'm just start crying over little shit. Oh, we like, got to hug more. Bro, that shit felt we good gotta though. We got to hug more. That shit felt great. I had my two 80 year old grandparents, my mom, my aunt. And we just went out there, went out to eat just the entire day. We left at seven in the morning and didn't get back home until damn near eight o'clock last night. Oh, wow. Age coupled with surviving a pandemic has made, you know, or should have made you more appreciative of how precious yes. life is. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yes. So that's probably yes. why. 
you know, you're at that stage and, and where and you're, it, you're looking around and you're like, you're trying to like capture and memorize the and moment. I'm and super the big on family anyway. Mm -hmm. Like I am family man. Yeah. Like my family, let everybody know I'm the one in the family that they can call on at any time for anything. So it's just like, it just felt, it was just a good cry. Like yeah. it just felt good. Like, damn, yo. My and you were in a safe space. I ain't crying here. You crazy? <laughs> no, not right now. Oh. I mean, there with, oh, oh, with your yeah, family. Yeah. That's it. That shit ain't safe space. <laughs> no. Why you wouldn't cry here? <laughs> this is not a safe space. Yes, it is. Yeah, okay. It's definitely a safe oh, space. Oh, you scared to cry on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But Why? You wouldn't do nothing but gain fans. Or crying has never made someone lose anything. <laughs> Unless you're like a real bad crier. I'm trying to think. I'm not talking about all the defense cry. I'm not talking about like when R. Kelly was crying. <laughs> Actually, R. Kelly was crying. All time people, man. Oh, no. R. Kelly was whipping ass in front of Gail King. Hold up, Gail. <laughs> Gail, hold up, bitch. Oh, Answer shit. that question like I fucking told you to. <laughs> Gail knew that was fishy. <laughs> that was a wild Yo. Oh, uh, Yeah. No but, crying endears you to people. Yeah, yeah. My like, son woke yeah. up on Sunday and asked, Daddy, where's Trey? I was like, you want to see your brother? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, right there. <laughs> you got to be shitting me. That's it. <laughs> That'll do it. Wait, so then Trey comes over. Trey comes over. My mom had came over and left. So now Trey comes over. My mom parked by my house. So my mom comes back to get her car. She's, I tell her Trey's is. She's like, yo, tell Trey to come downstairs. I want to see him. So cool. Trey goes downstairs. Kicking it with my mom outside. Mm -hmm. Lex is like, Daddy, Dad starts going crazy. I want to go with Trey. Where's Trey? I want to go downstairs with Trey. I'm like, all right, dog, you got it. Come on. We're going to go downstairs with Trey. Take him downstairs. He leave me downstairs. He's happy as could be. I'm like, oh, this is so cute. But get downstairs, and that's my mom and Trey, and it's me and Lex, and we're kicking it and kicking it. Kicking it for about five, ten minutes, and then my mom, um, we was walking, and we was walking back to the door, the three of us. Mm. And my mom was still there, and she was leaving. She was talking. She was like, all right, you guys. Bye. And then Lex, me, and Dre all turned around at the same exact time and said, bye. Oh. <laughs> and she said, oh, my God. That was the <laughs> same shit. So, yeah, shit like that. Yep. It's like, I went upstairs. I was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She was probably balling on the way home in that car. What? <laughs> Done. For her, Dog. that must have been crazy. That, yeah, That's fire. Yeah, I keep. I always. I keep forgetting because I'm in my body and my skin that it's my turn in the es on the escalator. Mm. Like the escalator's going up. Mm -hmm. so it's your turn now. So Trey even going downstairs to fucking. My mom saying, yo, tell Trey come downstairs. I want to see him. It's such a grandma thing to say. That's my mom, mm -hmm. but. You're doing the grandma shit now because it's your turn. Mm -hmm. And now Trey got it. Here's your turn, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Go, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, that's, yeah. Everybody get a turn. That's right. I think it's dope. Yeah, yeah it is dope. Right. It is dope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you looking all silly in the face? <laughs> she like she want to say something. Well, but she don't want to say it. I'm trying not to cry. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you want to, you want to cry. You want, no. Okay. I thought you was like the walking embodiment of if fuck them kids was a person. I didn't oh think, shit! Yeah. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> what? I didn't think. You got that from Matt? <laughs> yes. Why did you say fuck the dog? <laughs> Nigga, she just gave us. Well, for what? For starters. <laughs> no. She just gave us thirty-five minutes oh, of. Man. Man, fuck these niggas. I'm cool. I, me and my girlfriends, my peers, we ain't off these niggas. These niggas is late. You bought them from a flat. What do you mean where do I get that from? She don't give a, I ain't pulling. She don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, no. I don't take that as fuck them kids, though. No. Man, fuck them kids. Not. <laughs> Definitely not. No, I'll take that. Like my, my, my friends that have children, I'm like, I'm auntie. You don't have siblings? I'm my mother's only child, but uh, I'm the youngest of 11 of my father's oh, children. Damn. Yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Damn. Wow, wow. Yep. Oh, oh, shit. Very Damn. much. So you got a lot of nieces and nephews. <laughs> yes. I have had nieces and nephews since before I was born. Wow. Yeah. Shit. 
my oldest sister. You know, I, I get it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it was always funny in school when it's like they the same age and that's your uncle. Oh yeah, facts. Like, or younger. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. people's uncles was younger than them. Yeah, like my oldest sisters are older than were older than my mother. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a big family. Yeah. yeah. So in terms of my siblings, really there's just one sister that I'm close to. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, that's my sister Candy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Spread out a lot? They all, all over the place type of thing? Or just, is it just a um, yeah. mixed family, I'm not close to situation? Very much so. Yeah, yeah. it's all of the above. Got it. It's all, of the, it's all of the above. My dad was just like, I'm going to make sure that everybody like gets to get. No, he didn't. He didn't do that. I was, going, I was just about to ask you, y'all yeah. like thoughts on family reunions and shit like that? You know, there's things that I I observe about other people's families that I really wish was, you know, my experience, you know, like just big family reunions and lots of siblings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I wish I had that. You know what I mean? Like when I see when I hear stories about siblings like, you know, beating the shit out of each other and mm-hmm. just all the stuff that sibling rivalry goes through and stuff that like stuff that. That stuff wasn't the funnest. No, it wasn't. That <laughs> but was, when, that was, I mean, when you're... Well, that was the that coin you fell on. I was the youngest, so... Yeah, when you're kids. That was not the good time. I was the oldest. Yeah. I was definitely but, the youngest. That so, nigga was on it, bullshit. It works, <laughs> it, it works itself out, though, right? As, yeah. When you get to be older? No, still got trouble. Still deal with it every day. Do you like them? Yeah, I like them. Okay. I love my sisters. There you go. There you go. But I still sometimes be thinking back like, damn, they were really mean. Man. <laughs> still dealing with it every day. Yeah. Still learning how to cope. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Yeah. So let, me, let me ask. Um, with those siblings, like, is there a way for y'all to contact each other? Yeah, um, there is. Oh, but... y'all run right toward the trauma. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, you know, no, no. Yeah, these niggas, no, no, no. Because these niggas no, don't make a left. No, no. I'm not even because you did say like, especially going through a pandemic and stuff makes you value. Like, what's to stop from you from? Hey, yo, everybody, let's link up and do something on whatever. I guess because like, it's. I guess everybody's still here. True, but it's just like when you've just been like. You have no real attachment other than, you genetics. know, like genetics. Yeah. That's it. Like, you, okay. you really, you don't really know these people so kind of thing. to know them is what I'm saying. So you got to start somewhere. I'll, I'll so stick, you're saying. I'll stick with your no. sister. <laughs> so I'll you're st- saying what I was saying. Just about family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you agree with me. Because this is, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't fuck with it. Sometimes the situation doesn't. It's not even. It doesn't fall on your. It fall in your lap. It's more like they have the. You know the the reticence, the hesitation to like. Have you, know, you tried that? When there's like no, you have no ability to reach out because I you just don't ask you. Yeah, can no you way. Get like, in touch with all of them. No. So no, I can't. Okay. I can't. Some I don't know how to like track them down and some of them have made it clear they do not want to be tracked down okay they are like wow yeah they're like that was my father i don't acknowledge you uh, I've, they seen just, that. You know, I've seen, I've seen that dad cheated on mom with your mom so uh-huh. fuck y'all i've definitely seen it's, that happen a couple times in, in yes some situations similar scenario so that's me crazy and, though it's the, as the siblings i feel like once you're of age at least that, that's that, crazy especially once everybody's just having kids now trust right. me when i was a kid and i found out about my older sisters from my father's first marriage mm-hmm. my older sister and and um their children my nephews and nieces and they went to school not too far away from me mm. i went to their school to try to meet them my nieces and nephews wow, that's that's not the way to. Well, I mean, I'm a kid. I'm a kid. I'm a kid. Oh, oh, I'm a kid. Oh, wait, oh, I'm a kid. Like I'm in. I'm in like junior high. I'm so I'm like all eleven. Right, right. Eleven put you years on old. List, you know? Yeah. yeah you know. So she outside the school. Of- <laughs> but they didn't even know about me. Wow. You know what I mean? Like that's how much their mother was oh, like absolutely not. She didn't say shit about me. So we had we ended up having mutual friends that tried to connect us. Mm. And that's when my sister hit my father, and she was like. Abs of fucking, she put a, the kibosh on that, you know? And so I, I didn't understand. I didn't know any better. Um, and that was. So you kept that. They didn't come crawling back to you once you got popping? 
No. It exists? Yeah, yeah you, know that's, what you know what I'm no. saying? Like, that's very common. That is very in, common, in but entertainment no. Entertainment and shit. Yeah. Like, oh, that's my sister. You've been my sister. Yeah, no. It didn't. Oh, man, they kept us apart this whole time. Yeah. Right. At yeah. this point, I'm praying you guys just get a bad wheel alignment and maybe it just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it just hit, the, hit the little pothole. And, and, and when you got famous, they never came back. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no. So, yeah, no. All right, cool. Mm. Thanks. Yeah, Dude, you look, look. Cool. <laughs> you cool. can do it. Cool. No, you are <laughs> So, go ahead and run off and cry, man. Get your shit off. No, 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 no. <laughs> I did. Oh, I just there did a brief. Better. I did it. A brief. Yeah. Inhale. All right. Yeah. So, look. Mm. Well, I think the lotto was up to what three, three something, mm. three twenty something. Mm-hmm. The lotto, lottery. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Something, something crazy. Mega Millions. They're yeah. both pretty high. I don't know what yeah, the Powerball like is five, right now. One was like five something and one yeah. was three something. And Mega Millions is like 324 or some My shit. man back home hit a million, man. I'm so happy for him. Are you really happy? Well, no. Hell a yeah, million to you. He's, he was a professional, he was a professional um, uh, salesman and he hit a million dollars, man. He can chill out. From a that's, spot in, in the hometown? Yeah. That's scratch dope. off shit. That's dope. That's, that's fire. dope. Ooh. That's fire. Yeah. I like when Scratch Off will get you a million. Scratch Word. Off is... Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people be wanting to scratch off. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He, he, it's funny, though, because this is his first time, like, really having a lot of money like that. Like, he's like, yo, man, a million dollars ain't really a lot of money. <laughs> he's like, once they take the shit and then they pay moms a little something, everyone's coming up to me. It's like, it's, I'm not, I don't got so it's it. Not, it's not what you thought it was, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah. That tax, that tax. Mm. Yeah, they <clears throat> take that chunk. Anyway, what's the uh, the Lotto's three three thirty? Oh no, I was just asking. Like, you know, you ever think about what you would do? You, let's just say it was. Like let's that. just say it was the three twenty four. Mm-hmm. You know, are, are you taking like the the payout? Are you doing the annuity? Payout. 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 Originally, yeah. I was taking annuity, but mm-hmm. then I heard if you pass, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So payout. <laughs> no. I didn't know that. Yeah, payout. Oh no, pay me out. Give me all my shit. Cash, cash me out. Give yeah. me all my shit. Cash I don't care about the tax. Fuck it. It Same. is what it is. Free money. Cash, cash At that out. point, pay ten dollars for the ticket. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because at first you can't give me that much money at once. It's, mm-hmm. it's going to be bad. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, if 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 I pass and like my daughter can't pick up, then nah. Yeah. Are you still going to podcast with us if you hit the three <laughs> thirty? For a little bit, <laughs> might get my two more two more out of me. Two more two more episodes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you might get too Just to talk your shit. Come back and shit on niggas. They're gonna be totally, they're gonna be totally two different episodes. Bro. <laughs> like you gonna, have, I'm gonna be on a wireless mic from the helicopter right there. <laughs> Erickson, zoom in because I'm gonna be in the helicopter. Yeah, y'all got to catch me like that. That's funny. Yeah, I, that's I, foul, man. I'm one of the people that you know. I, I've said this before. Like God, the universe, whatever you. Will, don't, they know not to let me get a lot of money. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you did say you were gonna yeah. be a super villain. Mm-hmm. And- like y'all think Elon bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Why? Person. What would you do? I'm not Don't get him started. Yeah, <laughs> we had to bleep a lot of shit out last yeah. time, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Are you keeping? Yeah. He'd, your... build a, he'd build the wall. Uh. I think he was worse than that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, a, lot was, it was, it was a lot worse than that. It was, it was worse. It was worse. It was worse. Are you staying in your current relationship? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amongst others. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> You gonna add some more relationships? Yeah. Little harem situation? I don't know. Okay. You know? I'm gonna be living life. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I can hear my phone ringing now. (laughs) (laughs) But no, I feel what you're saying. Like there's a monetary value attached to it. See? 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 (laughs) See? 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 No, no. I gotta get better with getting it out. (laughs) No. <laughs> nah, I understand you. Nah, right. but like, like all my, like my lineage, like my ancestors and stuff would be totally disappointed with the bullshit that I would be mm. on supreme, top tier fuckery. So you're not starting like a five hundred one c three. Pardon me. Oh. <laughs> a nonprofit, <laughs> like a foundation. <laughs> yes, no. 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 Okay. No. You started some profits, probably. <laughs> yeah. Some for profit. For profit. Okay. Nonprofit. <laughs> Okay. No. Are you going to be like an international man of leisure? No. No. Nah, I might be like the white dude with the guns and the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got shit on me. Why not? <laughs> the boats and the guns. Yeah. 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 yeah it's going to be bad, man. 
Okay. At least for a year. Like it's only gonna last a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not not gonna be that long. It's gonna be a documentary out. Mm. Soon. Like, yo, know, how did he blow? What the fuck did he he fucked like the, the the ramifications of what he did with this money are is gonna fuck people up for a while. Like he should have never got that money. Damn. Yeah. Did I I mm. came in and told y'all about uh <clears throat> uh Natalie Grace, right? No. Oh, the uh, the documentary. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think we t- yeah we talked about that for. Is that the one you were talking about? Uh huh. With the little people. Yeah, where they couldn't determine if oh if, if oh, she yeah. going to school. Okay. Did I tell you about it? No, I don't believe no, so. Mel, Mel, Mel told us Mel about the us. balcony, not on air. Oh, if I recall. Dog. You <laughs> watched it. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I went to school and. Okay, so for everybody wondering, it's the curious case of Natalie Grace, I believe that's what it's called. You know, and it's about this these parents, they adopted this Stop. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> and asked you to do that in PR should you be doing uh, it. Shit. <laughs> I would have hit a nigga version to be yes. honest with you. I, I need I, yeah, I need okay. a nigga version. <laughs> I never watched this bullshit because it's clearly about a kid. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. on the cover is a kid, you read the little thing, it says something about a kid. I don't give a fuck about the kids. So I never watched this shit. <clears throat> and then somebody on Twitter said, one day when I was totally free, said, Joe, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the, Nat- the blah, 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 Natalie Gray. Mm. This shit is crazy. Natalia Grace. Natalia, Natalia Grace. Grace. Okay. So I was like, all right, well, this person sounds like he know my taste and shit. He's, if they want to hear what I think about it, give it a shot. I don't give a fuck about the kids, but let me press play. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's on, eight, it's on max. Okay. It's on max. So I press the trailer. And the trailer <laughs> starts with them asking, <laughs> What the Is this, <laughs> is this <laughs> a, a disabled child? <laughs> or <laughs> is this a grown Adult con scammer oh, killer <laughs> dog. I'm just re- look, look, this this one sentence alone. It says the Barnett's adoption of Natalia, an alleged six year old Ukrainian orphan, alleged. turns into a nightmare when they learn she may not be six or Ukrainian. Oh shit! I'm good. I mean, yeah. that's how that's it enough. started. Yeah. So then they continue. Being an alleged six-year-old is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard those words combined, ever. Wait, so then, the then, then they show the parents start talking. And the parents are like, what are they? She trying to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> she trying to kill us. She trying to kill our, our, our son. For years, she had a knife under the bed. She was driving this family crazy. <laughs> so they had a case because how old is this girl? Like, is this a child or is this where we scanned by the Ukrainian adoption agencies and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But them attempting to find out is the funniest thing in the world. Now, wait, they're getting scammed by the Ukraine too? I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I can't tell you because watch it so we can see which side you fall on. Yeah. I think two things were true. I think that the the girl wasn't how old they said she was. Mm -hmm. Like they had her age corrected in the in the film. Like the parent was saying, I didn't even know that you can have an age corrected, but apparently in adoption in adoption cases where these kids are coming from somewhere else, and the paperwork is a little. You see, oh. you see in baseball all the time. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Where they thought homeboy the, they ain't, thought the, homeboy ain't eleven. <laughs> yeah, they thought the kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he's an eighteen-year-old yo. prodigy. No, he's thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Got a fucking beard. He's a fucking expert. <laughs> D bad voice, but he's eleven playing little league. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> Yo, he is an idiot. <laughs> with the bass voice, right? Yeah, he's right. He's right. Yeah, Man, they had the girl's age corrected. Like I said, she was six years older. So the discrepancy and what it meant in terms of the crimes that they were being committed, you just have to watch it. By the end of it, end of it, I think two things are true: the girl's older and the parents is on bullshit. 
Mm. Her Pans. father I'm was I'm crazy. Going to, I'm going to watch bullshit. this. See, that's what I be. That's that's my beef with you two, particularly with us two. Y'all two. What? Y'all have come across the fire. Y'all just put everything else in the little bullshit. Yeah, all types of memes and yeah, bullshit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Say, no, watch this. Shit about a fake killing motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yep. Yep. I dropped the ball. I should have suggested like, this it. Is I say, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> I say, I know why fuck, you to say this too. fuck you. I know why you about to say this. <laughs> Are y'all shitting me? Because I ain't watched the Chippendale doc, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so good. I know where, you, I know where you're going. Oh. Shit, I wasn't even going to Chippendale's doc. Which After one? we have our little, our little after pod powwow. I got to stop taking my thoughts home with me. We have a little yeah. after pod, pod powwow. It's like, yo, we going to start having the pre-pro call. The ay yada 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 Cool. The weekend come, I'm in Zara, I write my little note down. Oh, Zara. I'm like, hey, let me share this with the gang because maybe they don't know what I mean by topics that's not like in the news. Yeah, yeah, so I take yeah. a picture of it, I send it, yo, y'all. This is what I was this talking about. This is what I mean, like yeah. just some regular life shit. I, yada, yada, I got yada. that. That was on a Saturday. I got it too. Yeah. I got it. No, I mean, I understood what you meant. Yeah. yeah. Not a one. Not even an okay. <laughs> a whole group chat. Nobody's, what you supposed to nobody say even that? tapped it. <laughs> Nobody even tapped it to say thumbs up or I see this Holy or fuck. copy. <laughs> we don't do that about nothing, though. I swear we to, saw it. It, it. Yeah. On the, I saw it. On the Instagram DM group. I feel like I'm talking to myself half the time. Well, well, I do know. Well, you, be, you, you, are a little you be talking to yourself. <laughs> You be putting uh, your sensors again. You be putting shit in there that's like. <laughs> I mean, that shit pop up. I be like, all right. <laughs> all right, swipe. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, man, put that fire in there like that, though. Yeah. Just, you got to watch just, it. I, I, I just added it to my list. Yeah. I feel like there's one Fuck on Hulu, too. I'm not telling you shit. That's what <laughs> He definitely. Yo, y'all got to watch the Chipman, though, Doc. All right, cool. And if I did that with y'all, I literally would be in y'all shit all day, pause. Like, I watch everything, yo. I watch the wow. Hot Cheeto shit. Like, I watch every. <laughs> but, I watch the f- every. Everything I don't know it's fire, fire. Until, I, until I see what's going on. And, yeah. then, and then if it's that fire, I'm coming back in here to talk about it. But that's when you, yo, whoop. Throw it in there so at least now somebody else could watch enough of it to say. No, why don't one of y'all we take don't, something I'm not a doc man. from you? No, fuck the doc. Just take. If I give you this, then it's taking something that I had off the life list and now it's tossing it to you. No, take something from your life list list and come. But no, yes, you're right. No, I'm just saying it makes for a better conversation. I know, I'm just talking shit. Yeah, yeah. I will. I'm, I'm gonna watch this. Yeah. That shit sounds out great. I just yeah, read the watching. one sentence. No, that's, I'm on this. That's great. <laughs> they abused the shit out of that little girl. That's father. Oh, shit. Was, they abused. All right, hold on. I don't know. Nah, the mo- the father is the fucking mother. No, no, no. I know, but the father the, the father was really difficult to watch. Like he's so extra. It's always the man. The problem. mother made. No, no, no. I'm, wait, I'm, you, I'm, you'll I'm, understand. I'm, I'm you'll playing. understand. But he's you peeped so, it right. He's like, yo, it's the mother. No, but the father. No, the no, the mother I'm was playing. a with, no, I'm but the mother playing. was terrible. She really was. But the fa- when you watch the father, you're gonna be like, how do I take this guy seriously? Actually, I think the father got off on the father was cool at by the end. We knew him to be a liar, but there was no like charges. Or, right. The mother should like I couldn't believe the charges that they dismissed the charges on the mom. She should have fucking been Thanks. charged. She should have gone all the way through the trial. She should have been fucking Thank you. Anything convicted. Else you want to tell me in there that yeah. I were. Oh Go, shit! Yeah, I'm sorry. See that I'm gonna. That, that was crazy. I'm sorry. Yeah, appreciate that. Good looking. I'm sorry. Yeah. And you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. No, I'm, I, it is great. I didn't ruin anything. Is what I got. It's cool. I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah. You saw the Action Park doc? Yeah. Okay. Oh come on! I'm from Jersey. So as I saw Action that's Park, one of the I, first I got ones to watch I tell that. Tell people that they have to watch. That was crazy. I want them to watch the American Gladiator shit though. Oh, well, sound like you haven't seen the Action Park doc. You know what Action Park is? No. She's Canadian. She's Canadian. No. Action Park was a, a theme park in um like western New Jersey. Uh-huh. But it was some bullshit. Like, I didn't realize it was that bad either. Like, I, I my, my cousin had a, his knee fucked up from Action Park. Going down that same slide that was fucking everybody up. It was like, a, it's a water park? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But they was like, fuck their safety rules and we just doing this shit. They was pulling in just novice designers 
to design the rides. Not like the no safety physics. codes. Yeah. No, shit, no, no, shit. You really no, shouldn't do this. Mm-hmm. Shit that you shouldn't do at all. Yeah, it was that. Okay. Yeah. Hulu? Uh, Amazon? No, no, no. That, was... that should be on Netflix now or okay. Max. I think it was Max. Or Max. Yeah. Okay. I think it was Max. All right. I'll, 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 I'll find it and fucking text you, but yeah. Okay. But put that, that in the key. That action shit. That's one of the I'm best docs I've seen. Just I'm not in terms the doc of a good lover, laugh. But when they give you the good ones, mm-hmm. like it, for me to watch a doc, it has to be something that I knew about. Like I knew the story. I knew, like oh, nah, so, the best ones, are the ones that you don't know shit about. But I don't. Just, I don't just sit down and watch docs. That's my point. Yeah. So like like I said, American Gladiators. That was my show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. Me too. Like I used to say, yo, when I get older, I'm, I'm going to challenge some of these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so when I see a doc, yeah, I'm gonna watch that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything. I didn't know it was as crazy as it was just to shoot the pilot. Fuck everything else. Mm -hmm. So Action Park. I'm from Jersey. I Mm -hmm. remember Action Park. Mm -hmm. So when I see that, yeah, I'm going to watch this. It's something like I never heard. If I'm scrolling and I saw this um, Natalia Grace thing, I'm not even clicking play on that. I'm not even reading it. See, if Mm -hmm. that's not about a kid, like the kid part threw me off, but if that's not about a kid... That is the exact title I'm running toward. The Curious, curious case. Anything, yeah, man. Case, yeah. Curious why, in Case. I'm- who the fuck is Natalia and why am I supposed to care? Mm-hmm. And on Max, I got, Max is the one to get any name that they throw on there, uh-huh. I'm checking. Max is like, Gregory Daniel. Oh, what he did. Uh-huh. <laughs> what he did. This is his whole name. On Max. Max is official. Max is going to let you know what this yeah. nigga did. Mm hmm. And they're going to do a good job. Hijacked, I wanted to talk to y'all about, right? Okay. okay. That's my shit. I think that uh, content is suffering across all platforms. Mm-hmm. And I think money is down on all platforms. And I think money on content being spent is down on most platforms. Mm-hmm. So with that said, I'm watching Hijacked, and it's super fascinating to me knowing this, right? Because now I'm watching the shows to guess how much money they spent. And I'm looking at how they shot the show. I always do that, but now I pay more attention. Mm -hmm. Hijack is a plane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the show is on the plane. Yeah. Yeah. So far. Yeah. You get a little little shot here and there, the office. So that's cheap off rip. Yeah. Yeah. And even when they show the plane in the air, it looks all CGI-ish. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But it's still compelling to me. So, and then they cut right back to... Some strangers saying some shit on a plane. I'm looking at the cast of people that's talking outside of Idris. Mm. And it's like... Just some dudes. Yeah. They ain't spend nothing. Yeah, they, on salaries. The, sa- the majority of it went to Idris. And I'm then just, all the rest of it. And, and anything that they cut to, this is why it's, it's compelling to me in Hijack. Anything that they cut to in this particular situation is going to be fascinating to me. When they cut from the plane and get to the... Israeli men just whispering to each other on the plane. They didn't say nothing, but <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Why are you niggas? You know, anything on a plane is like, what the fuck is going yeah, on yeah, over why here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then somebody went to the battle. You got to throw up. You better throw up. Leave the door open. Leave that open. I better see yeah, it. I'm going to kill you niggas. Like, all right. Well, like on a plane, they could they could run this for 20 episodes. And I'd be like, damn, that was kind of, that was fire how they did that. Like, it's like phone booth to me. Hijack. Mm-hmm. Mm. Phone booth found a way to make a really compelling movie out of a phone booth. Out of a phone booth. And I think that they're doing a good job with all of this bullshit that they're doing on the fucking plane. Damn, I want to give a, a spoiler a little bit. Mm. On Hijack? Yeah, I want to ask y'all, what did y'all think of? Oh, y'all not caught up? I didn't I'm, see the last I, episode. I got like 20 minutes left of the, the current episode. All right, spoiler yeah. alert. Think this is the new episode. Today anyway, so. Think this is the new episode where it comes on with a foreign married couple talking. Yeah, and it's that's just always one. like, that's what one. are they saying? Yeah, see, mm-hmm. that's compelling already. You don't know what the fuck these niggas are saying. Mm-hmm. And then she tells them, of course. Even the way they did the conversation, though, the foreign couple was sitting like two rows behind yes. him. He can't see him. Yeah. So he got to talk to Shorty over there. Yes. Who's talking to them back yeah. there? And they in the big first ca- first class suite looking shits. They got the sliders, so he mm-hmm. got to slide it back. Like even that, they playing telephone. Now yeah. in real life, the the wife is never gonna nigga mind your business. Don't ask me what my husband's saying. But here she gives it up. 
He said that all of the weapons are fake. <laughs> no, no, bro. That wasn't the wife that said that. The wife was No, the husband said that. The husband said But she was saying the, it. Uh, the translator. wife. Yes. Oh, that was shorty across. Oh, yeah, the, the translator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the, translator, the translator. The, the translator. wife was The wife saying, held it down. Shut the fuck the up. The wife held it down. Before we get killed. The wife but he wasn't, wasn't shutting nothing. up. No, he See, wasn't. See, that was compelling too. Mm-hmm. Mm. The dude is the dude on the plane is speaking through the, the yeah. passenger yeah, yeah, over there yeah. getting it, saying that, yo, they guns are fake. Mm. And they're like, yo, how you know? And he's like, I'm worked in Israeli um ministry, something like that, for 30 years. He's gonna get somebody killed. When you do hijacks, they use fake guns. They have blanks in them. Why? Did he, he say? He was saying the pop is all it takes to keep people in check. Mm. Not the projectile because <clears throat> you're on a plane. Mm -hmm. You shoot out a window or something, it's pressurized cabin. Got it. You're not gonna use a real gun on there. Right. And that he makes was sense. Telling them, yo, it's fake. Mm. So now they sitting there like, all right, if it's fake, we can take these niggas over right now. They can't shoot us. A gun, a gun went off earlier on the plane. Yeah. Like it dropped. You heard the shot. And even that to me, I was like, damn, nothing happened. I thought if a gun goes off on a plane, it's, it's, it's curtains. But that was their whole thing. Like, yo, all right, if the gun went off, go find the bullet. Mm. So then they found a way to write a note to everybody to say, look on the floor and see if you see a bullet or a, a shell casing. And if we don't see one, then put the the light light on or off on and off. No, like yeah. it was wild. But listen, this shit is, they're doing this shit a is really doing. good job off of one location for the most mm -hmm. part. They are, and I think I think it's a twist, a, a good twist coming yeah. somewhere. I need to get caught up. It's only three episodes. No, I know, I know. I, I watched the first two. I didn't get a chance to see the one that just that what dropped on this? Wednesday. This is Wednesdays, Wednesdays, right? It yeah. comes out That's on Wednesdays because most of their shows do Fridays. That's what threw me off. Mm -hmm. Most of Apple shows um, do Friday releases. On the release, it says Tuesday are the new episodes available. I saw it on said Wednesday, but I could be wrong. Either way. Yeah. Either way, yeah. One, yeah. one, for, you to, watch. one yeah. for you to check out. For sure. Yeah. Wednesday. New episodes are Wednesdays. Yeah. Uh, we didn't speak about uh, Mayor, Mil, Mayor uh, de Blasio. Blasio. Yeah, so Mayor de Blasio is... Uh, they released a statement, him and his wife, Charlene, um, that they are not getting divorced, but they are separating okay and but they are going to continue to live in the same house and they're just going to date Swag. other people that's fine yeah it's like the smiths uh is it though weren't they dating other people I don't and living think, in the same house yeah. i don't think they ever made the announcement i don't think they made oh, okay. yeah, they, yeah they didn't announce they any didn't level announce of separation well so they just learned they learned from the smiths like let's not do that and then have to go sit at the table and cry and yeah yeah, let's. Fuck I gotta go back and see that episode. I hope they didn't pull the red pill, the red table episodes off. They out, you know. You can, I'm sure there's somewhere. I'm pretty sure they on. I'm sure, it's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. 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 You can find we it. gotta go back and watch that Will Smith one. Right. <laughs> the famous entanglement. Ugh. Anyways, so yeah, so they're uh, cohabitating. They're gonna date other people. That's gonna be interesting. Watching who they bring home. I don't know how they. Well, maybe they, have, it. maybe they have a big house. Huh? You might not see it. Oh, no. You said it's gonna be interesting to watch. You know, well, no, no. I mean, like, I'm sorry, right? It's not not us watch, but I mean, like, be interesting to see who your now separated mate brings home to date, or who you find out they're dating. What if they're the exact opposite of you? And you know, you know, the other thing <laughs> that makes it interesting: how fast you. Get that next person. Right. Mm, you know right? what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if we make this agreement and... One week later. She start getting busy, you're going to be like, oh, fuck. Yeah, and if <laughs> a dude... He looks the exact opposite of, of de Blasio. You mm. know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. he going to feel away. I don't believe they're going to stay in the same house. Yeah, I, I can't see I think I that's short-lived. That. I don't believe that for a Do second. they live in New York? Because yeah. that would be... Yeah. So... Uh, if they live in like a building, maybe you could do that. Mm -hmm. Or like a house that's like a duplex or it could be set up as a duplex, then I could see how you do that. A brownstone, yeah, I could see how you might be able to do that. But like a regular house, I don't see how you could do that. I can't no, see I it think in a brownstone. Be able to do it. I just don't think they're doing it. I think going to look outside and see, see <clears throat> homeboy walking in there, dreads, tatted up. Yeah. <laughs> This ain't working, dog. <laughs> I'm not watching that. Walls might be thin. Mm. Yeah, the wife don't need to see that. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> Big dread nigga handling Bill. <laughs> <laughs> That'll really shake shit up there. I thought that was a really interesting choice to tell us all, though. Like, do we, do we really need all that information? Well, they're public figures, so I guess it makes sense. Like, before no, y'all see me fucking the dread, <laughs> <laughs> just put it out there. Mm, I guess. No, it don't. Yeah, no. Think- like the whole dating other we're gonna we're gonna we're separated we're cohabitating but we're gonna date other people and live together uh, yeah, yeah we'll I think cohabitate. that is an announcement that you have to make yeah as a public person yeah and we're I've advertising in, for it could just be in, we're I've, separating and we're advertising for them I've been in situations where my relationship was shot to shit and nobody knew but it was a public thing and when you go out people say hey we're such and such Hey, you're doing such and such. Like the avoid or, or they're that. reporting on you. They might have seen yeah. us. Yo, yeah. yo, yo, such and such was just sitting yeah. here with the... And that's why sometimes mm. you see women, when, when a guy moves on publicly with somebody, you see the woman make a statement. Yo, we've been separated. Please stop inboxing me. Stop DMing mm-hmm. me. I know what's going on. Thank you, but it's cool. He can do as he pleases. And that's like the announcement. But I the mean, announcement the, is helpful. the rest of it. Yo, we're going to date other people. We're going to live together still, though. We don't need to know that. Yo, we separated. Oh, that's how you know they're not going to live together still. Because <laughs> we usually start putting shit in yeah, that don't need to be Throwing all in. the extra shit in there like, bro, we don't care. Crip, all right, cool. Crip might be nice. Nah, you say that. You say that to sugarcoat it, to soften the blow a little bit. Yo, don't worry, y'all. She's well taken care of. We're going to live together. The kids is good. Everything stays the same. I'm just fucking bitches now. And she's fucking niggas. <laughs> which, which one had the bread? Him. They, they might stay. He's probably got a nice crib. She, she ain't leaving. <laughs> See, I, I look at it differently. You might be right, though. Yeah, nah, huh? yeah, I'm staying nah, here. Nah, fuck that. I'm staying. Uh huh. I'm used nah. to this. Word. Fuck you, that. Fuck I'll, that. I'll leave, but you can give me half of all your shit. I'm about to say, yeah. that's, that's, or we get divorced. Right. What's up? I'm going to be right here. I'm curious. What I don't she know. Does. I, don't, I don't know the facts on this, but yeah, he might have had to pay me to stay in this arrangement, and you announce that because I'm going to leave and take you to the cleaners, and my quality of life is going to be perfectly fine mm-hmm. without you because we're married. Mm-hmm. Unless you have the shit, It'll be an agreement. Yeah, yeah, prenup. Yeah. yeah, this is this is be business. I mean, it's all business, but I'm saying like the whole agreement. Hey, for for, for business purposes, I'll stay here, but you gotta. You gotta pay to keep me here. Yeah. That's all it is, man. So I did a little search. Uh uh-huh. what cock sources have for us. <laughs> no. <laughs> not cock sources. Definitely not cock sources in this particular situation. Uh-huh. Um Charlene McCrae, who is Bill de Blasio's um wife. Mm-hmm. Uh she is an American writer, editor, and activist. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go down a little bit. Um she published, she, oh. she, she published an essay, in essence, in 1979, entitled, I Am a Lesbian. Oh, Wait, hold, time out. In 79? In 79, she identified as a lesbian. Um, essence later described the essay as groundbreaking, asserting that it was perhaps the first time a black gay woman had spoken so openly and honestly about her sexuality in a black magazine. And uh, the purpose of the essay was to dispel the myth that there are no gay black people. So, uh, yeah. They got kids, right? They do. Yeah. So she's bi. That's not what she said. That's true. She said lesbian. She She did. did. She did say lesbian. But if you're having sex. She said lesbian. And she's black. And... He's lit. He campaigned her <laughs> for his whole campaign. They was taking pictures on the Brooklyn Bridge. Mm-hmm. Every time a black person would get murdered by police, he would bring up the fact that he has black children, so his needs, I mean, his wants align with black people's in terms of the police and just how we're treated here. He did all of that. Mm-hmm. So to hear that, she don't like no dick. The more I hear, the more, the more this sounds like a business deal. Yeah. Uh, like. So. Hate it, to say that about somebody's love union. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying what it sounds like. For her to come out in 79 
and identify, hey, I am a lesbian. And now, although to, in 1979, to be fair, I don't know if that was extra- extraordinarily progressive. Uh, yeah. Yes. I don't yeah. even know if bisexual was a thought process. Maybe it no. was. Maybe it wasn't. It was. Know. Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, bi- what are you talking about? Y'all think there wasn't bisexual people? I think there was bisexual people, but I don't know if they called it that as openly as they may say. Did I'm you read gay. her article? No, I I did not. I'm just like, learning. I'm learning okay, I'm in, in saying, the moment I right wonder, now. I wonder what her article said. Like, but what she reading further. It mm-hmm. sounds like this is very much a situation of like, you know, fair exchange, no robbery, because she got into politics in 1991. She was a speechwriter for Mayor Dinkins. Uh, um, she worked with Hillary's campaign. Um, was he in politics at that time? No. Oh. No. So it kind of seems maybe a little bit like she was the battery in his back, you know, for lack of a better phrase, you know, how, that this was. And how's that fair exchange, no robbery? Huh? And because how would that be fair exchange on robbery. Because she was in politics, but she was in politics from behind the scenes. You know what I mean? So I believe that she created the candidate that he became. Which is still behind the scenes. That's still her being. I think. But I, I, I'm just saying his her participation was less exploitive and more choice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what I'm basically saying is hmm. that it's less exploitative and more her choice because she's creating this candidate. She's probably writing his speeches. She's, she's kind of telling him what to do. You sound know like what I mean? the puppet master. Let's keep yeah. it real. She sounds like the, 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 she man, might be Ill. the man behind the curtain. She might be ill. Well, in this case, woman, but. A little bit. She might be bit. ill. She might have been the one calling it. And if your wife is going to just be dating women in the basement or the other half of the house, <laughs> I think you'd probably be like, yeah, fuck it. Go ahead, it's really, blast. it's looking like they're, they're going to, yeah. they're going to. I get what you're saying. Like lesbians should only fuck in basements. <laughs> <Yes. Yo. laughs> See, I'm hearing something totally different. I'm hearing. Maybe, well, maybe he's fucking in the basement and she's in the penthouse. I don't know. I'm hearing she was the one. He was just a puppet. And yeah, I'm staying in the house because I'm still running shit. Maybe. I built this motherfucker. Yeah, brick by brick. You are my candidate. I'm staying here to make sure that you continue to move and behave the way I need you to. Mm. What leverage I built would she you. have in that? I'm the mayor now. I don't give a fuck what you built. Get the fuck out of here. Like, well, what leverage does the mayor do, now? But the truth. Yeah, it's not the mayor. <laughs> yeah. There's that part. Yeah, the truth, yeah. nigga. Oh, yeah. if, if she been calling the plays the whole time, all right, now go out and call your own. Go fail. Because mm. didn't he, when he left office, didn't he have like an abysmal fucking, like, you know. Uh, he had a rough year. Yeah. yeah. Popularity rating? Uh. Salute, salute to the strong women. Yeah. <laughs> so just for clarity, in the spirit of my good brother ish, okay, you are okay with that being the role of a black woman and this instance, but not necessarily with Jonathan Major? My, what? Make that uh, make that, make that, yeah, make yeah, that make sense. Out. In the Jonathan Major's topic, a name that I swore I would never speak about again <laughs> on this pod, especially with Mel, <laughs> but this is a quick in and out. I, don't I see we'll, where you're going. Megan Good was kind of the beard, right? For lack of a better, more accurate term. Yeah. Used for public sympathy, public compassion used mm. to receive this person better. I, I, I disagree as, with that. I think Ice is what well, Ice, Ice's point well, I is never, that she, she was using him as the beard, more or less. Nah, I, I don't, again, and one of us posed the question because we don't know the truth. He could have been fucking with her and nobody knew, but Shorty found out and that's what set this whole shit off. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm with I'm with that being true. That don't make and yes, you get what I'm saying now. Now that you know, I don't see how that changes the scenario. I'm I'm, I'm only I'm only attacking the aspect of public perception and what a black woman's usage in the situation would be. That's all. I'm, but see, that's the only parallel. And I'm that, see, the reason why I disagree there is because again. Disagree they, with it being a parallel. No, no, yeah, yeah. Because I don't think the black woman, Megan Good in this example, was being used for that because 
they wasn't the ones broadcasting their shit. They was getting like that's, they tried to keep the shit hidden. It looks like what, from surface, it looks like they didn't. They wasn't trying to let y'all know that they well, was fucking that, around. Well, that was our response to Mel when she brought it up. Yeah, so, I remember that. So yeah. I'm with you there. That's why I brought the question to her about what is the difference because I'm I'm with you. I didn't I didn't say that. Mel was the one that told us, hey, "Are y'all okay with a black woman being used in this particular?" We didn't even think of it. Yeah, that, we didn't think like of it that, that way. No, I didn't. No, no, no. I didn't say that Megan was a beard at all. Like I didn't. I didn't. Not beard. Yeah. Don't harp on that word. Yeah. But her role in public perception as it pertains to people receiving Jonathan Majors in a better life. Now I will say, if if it, if it, I just had her. You talking? Oh, <laughs> what is you yeah. had her? I got. I don't think that Megan perceives it that way at all. You know what I mean? Like it's re- it regardless of what the public perceives by looking from the outside looking in. I don't think that Megan is there saying, hey, I'm going to stick with you because I know that it's going to, my presence beside you is going to improve your Q rating or public perception or whatever. I don't think that that factors in at all. What I was saying is the two things that are true because everyone was saying, oh, you're caping for Jonathan Majors, but you have a problem with him dating Megan Good. I don't have a problem. They can do whatever the hell they want. I'm just saying that the optics of her dating somebody who's got this accusation, it, it's kind of bad timing. The optics are just not favorable. And that's, everybody says that. Everybody had that same opinion. Um, but do I think that Megan was acting like a, you know, like a distraction or whatever the case is? Yeah, well, do you think Megan Good was being used? No, I don't think she was being used oh, because okay. I think, no, because I think but, that, oh, wait, wait, but, hold on. But, I think that what you're saying was, is completely accurate. I think that they started talking he was trying to break up with Shorty. She saw the text and that it was her. And that's what created the whole fucking shit. But they had already met and they were trying to I keep that. that quiet. That's what I believe but happened. I also, I don't think she was being used. Like we went in with this plan. But I think it's, uh, this is a. It, but if it helps. And that there. I don't, I didn't intend for it. To, this one just landed here. It's kind of what I'm saying. Like we didn't sit here and say, all right, you know what? And we're going to go public because now they see me with you. That should help me win over some of them out there who, who are naysayers. I don't think that happened. I think when people just found out and it started to work, okay, that started to work. But we just caught one. We didn't intend on that. What's up? But if I'm going, and I'm, I, I am going with this theory. If I'm going with y'all's theory of then they, they've been fucking around with each other. Mm-hmm. Then I have then I have to go back to what the mindset would be in that scenario, and in that scenario there are no uh, DV charges with dude. Right. In that scenario, yeah. he's on top of the acting universe. Yes. Right. Correct. She's an actress. Yes. Correct. So in that way, there is no beard no or protectionism yeah. or wait, what? What? Y'all see no scenario. In which, of course, there's a scenario where that could. So then he's why, on top of the world, and so this actress, yo, attach yeah, yourself, and we see that. I'm, then but why, I'm talking about then why that. y'all dismissing it. That's, but that's the crux of my argument. But not to oh. gain the light, not to gain the favoritism of black women or nothing like that, because there was nobody dissing him. Everybody loved him at that point. But you do see that there could be an angle in which she's using him. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. There we go. It would benefit her, no shots, okay. standing you. next to him. The same exact. You on top of the world, the my nigga. The same thing we were just saying about Bill de Blasio's wife is the only connection I was making. No, it would definitely benefit her standing when you up there on top of the world. And I definitely thought there was a part where you came and embarked about the optics of it and black men using black women in times of need and desperation and so forth. But I remember, I remember, I could be I remember wrong. something. I don't remember. Yeah, I, remember I remember Flip's I'm quote. I'm open to being wrong. That's how I remember. Y'all come coming up and oh, say yeah, shit. Yeah, and yeah, y'all back yeah. down. That, that's how I the remember. We blocked out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't remember his quote. I do, and I'm not repeating it. Thanks. Yeah, got you. But okay, I'm not harping on you. I could be wrong. Yeah. Go, Bill. Go, Bill, man. <laughs> shit. Nah, go, Shorty. And what go, Shorty. Yeah, about? It sounds like a win win to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't see where anybody loses. Right. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be a, a happy household. Uh huh. 
Sometimes you ain't got a choice but for it to be a happy household. Well, that's true, too. (laughs) I mean, he gets to date women, and she gets to date women. Gets to date women. (laughs) Hey. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Y'all are are assuming. We are. We're totally opining on the whole situation okay. based on the limited information that we have Wikipedia told us all media is assuming unless it comes from tr- sources there we go cock sources cock sources mm-hmm. there that's we go. right mm-hmm. gotta be some type of sources or veg sources yeah. gene sources <laughs> Yeah, Melissa, I need you to find a new word. The gene. The gene. Yeah. I yeah, really love it. You're trying, trying to, to, make to make it work. It's like stop tar- trying to f- make it work. I hear that's like Tarjay <laughs> for you. Close my shit. <laughs> what? It's, it's yeah. not going to work. Yo. Stop. Mm. The gene. No. Mm. No. Patronis. The gene. No. Mm. Yes. Yes. Make it. Stick. I'm gonna call it box before I say the gene. God damn it. I fucking hate when I'm gonna you guys call, call it a it bunch box. of things. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's a lot. It's a, a long, long list. list. A hole, <laughs> hot pocket, that little shit. I'm gonna call it mad things Clam. before vagine. <laughs> <Clam. laughs> yeah, no. Snatch. Vagine. Oh, God. Snatch. Okay. You know oh, yeah, what? I'm calling it snatch oh, no, before vagine. Because I call it snatch juice. Yeah, definitely snatch. Oh, God. Little it's kitty cat. Mm. Give me that little kitty cat before vagine. Fat ma. Uh, Fat ma. Fat ma, hey. <laughs> we are barbarians. <laughs> we really fucking are. are. We're better than her. Yeah, but we're uh, not saying vagine. Trying yeah. to make it sound French and shit. Yeah, vagine. I say pousse first. Okay, I'll I'm take not, that. I won't. Don't, because you'll yeah. run with that. Yeah, yeah, I, I won't. <laughs> you want some of my pousse? <laughs> <laughs> Strong J. Yes. And they'll start rhyming it with Douce. It'll be oh, oh, yeah. hey, nuts he, he out did, there. Hold up. <laughs> he, he did that Pousse already. Pousse and Douce. No, he uh, did that already. Someone did that. He did. Fab. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> was it Fab? <laughs> it, moving on. Well, what was, was the lyric? Like, Come on now, I have to hear it. and do say. What song? I forget. It was one of them freestyle records. He did it though. Oh my God. <laughs> Lord, help, Lord, Lord help us all. <laughs> if there was anybody that could have did it, I'm, I'm rolling with Fab. Exactly. Go That's right. Fab, you can shit. just tell a Fab bar though. For sure. Stop. We're That's not doing this. Bar. We're not That's doing this. We're not doing this. I don't mean disrespectful. All right. Me. That's a fab bar. Not too much on fab. It's about time for fab to come back, too. No, it's not. Too. He's not coming back. Why not? Really? Why? Oh, you about to say some shit to trigger me. I'm trying not to. and I, 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 Because I don't even want to look at fab in that light. I don't think he's coming back, bro. I think it's over. L- leave it alone. He, you mean geographically not coming back? No. I mean, fab is a... Triggering. Is a... As a fashionista IG model oh, now. My oh, my shit. Trigger, <laughs> triggering. <laughs> it is. I, talent's still there, but I think he's found a way. Let's keep it a buck. When Fab puts a project out, it don't do the numbers that he would probably like it to do. So music ain't really profitable no, right this, at this second. About any artist. No, I can't. There's artists that's still doing numbers. I'm talking about Fab in particular, who I think Fab believes, because I believe it, that he should be a little bit higher on the scale than he's at right now. But unfortunately, Fab has been a great mixtape rapper. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's had some commercial success yeah. as well. I'm talk- he's I'm had talk- a lot of commercials. I'm, I'm, talking yeah. about, I'm talking about albums. I'm talking about albums. When I say mixtape versus album, I'm talking about albums that have worked. So, but there's a third category that's singles, and he's had a lot of them. And after a point, there wasn't a lot of them. That's true. Is what I'm saying. Although he usually keep one. At what, least. what was the last one? It's probably been a while. The Even last the, one that made noise? Yeah. Tell me. Ball drop. That was 2016? I'm aware. 15? Something like that? No, it wasn't 2015. Shut up. Somewhere there. It was ball drop. For me. And I didn't Unless make it. That didn't make noise noise like that. No, yes, it did. No, it didn't. It didn't, Joe. I'm telling you the truth. And I'm, pro- what, I'm probably. What do you a bit mean of, noise? It didn't. What, why? It made. Enlighten me. Cause it didn't chart, is it, what you're saying? I'm, I'm speaking of what Fab's uh, motivation would be today to rap. And if I'm not making any money off of this because it's not charting, it's not successful. Fab is the, the younger, he was the younger kids. When I say younger kids, like like the Meeks and all of them, he was like they OG. But they've all kind of surpassed him in terms of success. So now he- I disagree with everything this is saying. Just, y'all y'all can. Every y'all, y'all, listen, last thing. Fab has saying. been almost playing catch up with them in terms of success. 
commercial success. But why as does of he late, have, so now I most, I, that's the part I don't understand. Explain that to me. Why do you think Fab would feel like he himself, who's been around since ninety nine, is mm-hmm. playing catch up with a Meek? Because everyone, but even in, if Meek is doing better right now, because yeah. they passed them, they passed them, and Fab has kind of been stagnant. He's hit a. Ice, when did Meek debut? Rose Red was oh nine, maybe oh eight. When did I'm a boss come out? Uh, you tell me about Rose Red. That was the record that got when him. Did I'm a boss. I'm come a out? boss was maybe 2010, 11. 20, yeah, somewhere in there. Was it been that long? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but even if if I'm a boss comes out in 2010 and Fab debuts in 01, we talking about 10 years. Mm-hmm. I don't think Fab is ever looking at anybody that debuted 10 years later like, wow, they passed me. Like, as an artist, you have realistic expectations of knowing who's supposed to be weird doing what and who's not supposed to be weird. At what stage in their career. Yeah, yeah, like, you know that. Fab is... He's not uh, just looking at the top sellers saying, why the fuck am I not No, here? it's not the top sellers. And it's I, the people that I was kind of directly og in. But OG is... OG don't mean it's we need to be pass. in the same it's not play. A, yeah. It's not a uh it's not a race. It's a yeah. baton pass. Once you once you recognize there's the OG, you're not trying mm. to still you're not that's not the game plan anymore. And you said you said you think Fab realized he don't make no money off of his music. His music isn't as profitable as it once was. Him releasing new music isn't profitable for him. I I believe that to be true. I believe it to be true too. So let's stay there. If you're that artist in that situation, you credit that directly to what? That my music is. Uh, I, the music I make the today as a 20 year veteran is not as profitable as it once was. Mm-hmm. You think that artist says, damn, my time. Or do they do what all of these artists are doing now, which is trying to restructure their deal? Redo their contract, their get catalog. more ownership, sell a catalog. Sell a catalog. Mm-hmm. The times have changed. I'm I agree. St- I'm still profitable, just not in whatever deal structure I was in with what's going on today. It's also potentially more profitable to him, depending on what his deal I structure looks that. like now. And the same thing applies to a meek, who I believe to be trying to do some of those same he things. Is. If I'm yeah. going by he the is. tweet, yeah. yeah. So when it's time to do that. It ain't time to drop music that I think will take off. It really ain't time to drop no music at all. We talked about Jeezy saying that shit he said, Yo, all my fans thought I was falling off. Really, I was trying to get out of a really bad right. deal, mm. and they didn't give a fuck about that. So I'm just trying to get it. I think a lot of artists are trying to get the business right, and they can't say that to fans. True. I, it, think, Fab, true. I think Fab yeah. is, is and has been in that boat I think Jadakiss is and has been in that boat. I think a lot of the artists stuck in kind of Def Jam purgatory mm. are in that boat. But unfortunately, these dudes are like you. You, you mentioned Jadakiss. He still manages to release though. Pause. He still put Jadakiss put music out still. Fab don't even give you a single. Don't give you a throwaway. He might give you a guest verse over here. It's not like like nothing. You it's, know, it's, it's radio it's, silence from Fab. You know what you get from Fab? Instagram posts. Well, him living his life. It could be very discouraging as an artist when you're not reaping what you sow. So that's that's kind of what I'm saying. I'm on. No, you're not. Cause I'm saying you, he's not reaping what he's sowing, which will now make you not put shit out. You're saying it without the empathy and understanding as to the situation that he's in. You're just saying it from the fan consumer aspect yes. of, yes. hey, 100%. we ain't getting no songs. We ain't got no slaps. What's the last slap that slapped? I think it might be, you ain't making no money. It's over. No, nah, it's, nah, it's, nah. it's so much more I'm, intricate I'm looking at than what you're, that. I'm looking at what you're showing, though. Like, nothing about Fab. But he showed shows nothing musically. That I'm interested in releasing music. That's what I'm saying. Nothing that you've showed us in the last, what, six, seven years, probably? I'm saying it's showing that I'm, I'm also seeing a lot of people in his generation starting to do what they probably should have been the whole time and go out and get these live shows. I got, you know, an hour, maybe it's mm-hmm. certainly at least a festival half hour, 45 worth of slaps. Let me go out here. Like, Fab, like we're look, seeing Nelly do, like we're seeing Ja do, like we're seeing Ashanti do. I'll, I'll give him his respect there. 
Fab has damn near lived on the road for the last. See, and, and that says something too. Yeah, because <laughs> that dur- says something. During his no, he has peak, a catalog. I don't think he was the biggest sure. um, tour really. I remember during the yeah, he wasn't tour. He wasn't. Right? He was doing more just do around here shit. Yeah, yeah. Fab will go get a hosting bag too, and mm-hmm. we'll, but but he's Fab keeps a, keeps. All of show that, dates going, but all yeah. of that's cool if that's how you paying your fire, bills. I've been to a couple of them. Too. If that's how you paying your bills and records. that's where you are getting your money yes. from, yes. that that ideology that that is it that was acceptable. Hey y'all, we have all this commercial success. Y'all want us to go get our money out on the road, then that's how we will get the money. Cool. I don't want nobody to think I'm dissing Fab because I'm not trying to diss Fab. Fab is in oh, my top. My, Fab is in my top five all time personally. I'm just trying to like, humanize these people. A lot of times when people speak from the consumer standpoint. They only care about whatever it is the consumers cares about, which is the music, the product. Mm-hmm. The the product. product. That's that's really I, the truth. I, I try to get people to humanize the actual artists. One, because I've been there, and two, because these niggas is human. If you're in a bad deal and you're putting out album after album and you're not fucking getting paid, and the only way to get out of this deal is to go radio silent for like a few years while the lawyers work it out. The lawyers tell you, don't say a fucking word. Go mute up somewhere. Sit down. Mm-hmm. Then you do that. You take the hit that the that the fans are going to give you, and when you come back, even though you'll sell less, you'll, you'll make, make more. more. You pray, mm-hmm. you pray and hope on that. One, two. I agree with that. We was just talking about uh, Bill De Blasio, Bill De Blasio, and his wife, mm-hmm. and that very unique separation. Right? Mm-hmm. We assume that to be a very unique separation because divorce is going to be a bitch, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. The artist you naming, Ja Rule, been with his wife thirty years high school, whatever. Mm-hmm. Nelly is single. Mm-hmm. Well, dating Shanti, pretend, according to the internet. I don't care. <laughs> what was Fab? Mm-hmm. Sound like more reason to get low, right? Mm. Sound like a lot more reason to just not put anything out, get my business dealing straight, because I got real shit. <laughs> Like, yeah, I don't think that nigga's thinking about a slap. But that's what I'm saying. I don't think his mind is on music. That's all. But you, I know, but you said. Uh, maybe I'm saying it wrong. It's quiet. And it's, it, and it's not. I'm saying it ain't quiet, but there's some things, there's some hurdles to get over before you get back to producing. Like, I, I hear a fact, like, the Act Bad record with the City Girls in Puff. Like, it's not like he hasn't put anything out. It's not radio silence. You're still doing things. It's just not what fab fans have. The niggas like me. <sighs> That's all I'm saying. So it's like it's, it almost feels like I don't really want to do this. Well, fab also has the uh, so like you kind of had a similar thing where you have the real fans that want to hear you rap crazy, go crazy, rapping, freestyling, barring off, and then you got the fans that just like the slaps. I'm a I'm a in, I'm a fab fan. I can appreciate when you crazy metaphor punch I can appreciate that mm-hmm. I can appreciate the girl record that's why Fab is in my top five because he's one of the most versatile he can go here 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 that's why that verses with Jada Kiss hurt me so bad but I just I, I, like I said I just feel like he ain't really my, his mind ain't on music that may be true and it is everything you're showing me shows me I don't really give a fuck about music right now why for whatever you, reason why? I just I just don't feel that way okay but why do you speak with such conviction when it comes to Fab and not Wiz Wibbs is putting out albums every year, year and a half. He's still dropping regularly. But I've been saying it's over for Wiz. Nothing's going to click. Nothing's going to stick anymore. Why? I think the people have just kind of moved past you. Sometimes huh. that happens. Even I don't even see Wiz core fans talking about Wiz like that no more. Ice is rough, yeah. Ice is rough. Bro, I've, been, I've, right, I've, tra- right. I've trashed right my... On Wiz, I've, rough. I've rough. trashed my favorite rapper... And I'm talking about before this, this bad, I've trashed Jeezy to the point where his people was calling me like, dog, what's up? Yo, you, 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 you the hump. What, what's up? Bro, I'm going to give it up. This shit you putting out ain't it. And nobody else is going to say it. I'm going to say it. Mm-hmm. Whoever, if, if I'm a fan of your music or not, if I hear something and it's just not it, I'm going to say it's not it. I don't care how much, I don't care if I bought everything and go to every tour. That don't automatically just mean it's fire because I'm a diehard fan of yours. I think people like Wiz get to fall off quietly versus a fab. 
I'm not saying that either are falling off. Please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If I'm saying if that's your interpretation by their output, then I think one just has it a lot harder than the other. Wiz get to go to all the family functions, go to Great Avengers, smoke his weed, be on Instagram. There's nobody in the comments saying, hey, what the fuck? Shit is trash. We're going because out Wiz, not, you know why though? Not. You know why though? Because Wiz is still Fab doing Fab can't Wiz. post nothing without us saying, oh, look at your posting. Because that's bro, bullshit. It's just the Yo, it's way a double to, standard. It's not right. Nah, man. It's not right. It's, it's, is it a double levels, standard bro. or is it just like the, the, the bar is set higher for Fab because Stop. of. I'm just guessing. No dog in the race, but just because of the output of consistency in you know the first half of his career, whatever the length, maybe the bar is higher than it is considered to be for Wiz. If we're using, I'm open to that. yeah, maybe. So therefore, the criticism, therefore the criticism why. will be. I'm harsher. gonna criticize Fab more than I would Wiz personally because mm -hmm. again, where I hold Fab, right. But that's you just hold Wiz pretty high too. That, that's why not I nowhere about. near where I hold fat. Oh no, but you have a You're lot a of respect. Of yeah. course, Wiz. of course, absolutely. Wiz, again, Wiz puts out a lot of music. Not a lot. He's consistent with music. Shit, I'm going to a Wiz show next weekend, I believe. Wiz is on the list of people I'll never say anything bad about. He's got too great of an energy. I feel like it's bad karma. I don't. I, <laughs> and that's the thing when I when you, it, it, I know it comes off really really harsh. Maybe I could use a better word. But when you be like. When I say, yo, so for this person, like, I don't mean like, yo, your career's done, you're a rap, like, you, you, you trash. I don't mean that. I just mean like, what the you run. Yeah, the run. What you once were, that part is done. Like, you've peaked. Oh, then you have to find a different way to say that. Because that's not what it's over means. It's over means no return, no coming back. It's over is what they was doing the job when 50 was doing that shit. It's like, it's over, right? Not that he couldn't produce, but yeah, it's over. So we're not, we not jacking that. What you're saying, I think, should be the goal of every artist in the world is to have a run. But was it, it was over for Ja. He's still around. It now. wasn't. It, what's, it so, wasn't So what does over mean then? Like you're never going to put anything out? Over. It was the end of the run for oh, no. Ja. You're right. It's over means nobody gives a fuck about what you're doing, period. Nobody That's gave a I, fuck about what, what Ja was doing anymore. You I have to, you have to. I disagree with that. You have, no, what you had to do was... The, the, the cachet you've built from your catalog, uh -huh. up it. until that point, you have to just stay there now. That's fine, though. What, for it's, for it, someone like Ja that had a million hits. Correct. Yeah. So it's, ja it's had, over could mean you never But Ja had that. hits and commercial success after it was over. Listen, it's, all, it's, it, it's it was over for the Rolling Stones by your definition probably in 1972, oh. and they still be fucking touring. Clapback was after everybody said it was over. It worked. No, Clapback was right when that album, Blood in Your Eye, was the album where niggas said, oh, it's over now. That was, that was before. That was before that. Way before. Clapback album was Blood in Your Eye, and he went away from his traditional formula and started trying to diss and make these harder records, and that's when it was and like- it worked. No, it worked. It didn't work for that album. It worked for that song and crown. Two Clap records back. off that album. Worked, dog. You missing what I'm saying? You that, missing what I'm saying? The song, that song, New York, worked. New York was. I got a honey, got a honey. I know the record. I'm just trying to think what album. I forget. I give a fuck what album it was. Because the timing it matters. Worked. Wonderful. Worked. R. Kelly. If it wasn't for the honey, honey, no, no, no. no listen, records. I wonder. Hey, would you still want no, you me? You're singing R. Kelly, yo. You're singing R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> They're paying out his victims from his royalties, man. I just read an article about that the other day. What? They paid out like 500 grand. I just seen a video the other day. I don't know what's going on in the algorithms. So R. Kelly algorithm is spiking up. I just seen R. Kelly. He was sitting next to uh, an honorable uh, Minister Farrakhan, mm -hmm. and he just got up and started singing fucking... I believe I can fly, a cappella. He smoked that. You watching this shit like, yo, this might be the most talented man that ever lived. And oh, that was capiche. The album after. Okay. <laughs> capiche. <laughs> what, which album, what you doing? No, I was checking to see where uh, uh, Wonderful in New York, which album that came on. Like, if the album's mm -hmm. tanked, right? Because I ain't looking up SoundScan, but who cares? If... If you you found it. success, right? Like if a song took off two songs, three songs, then this is your new level of success. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not the guy that can get the album to double, triple platinum no more. 
But if I'll I can still it, catch one after you niggas say it's over, that's where the old adage come from. Uh, all you need is one. Mm-hmm. I'll agree to that. You're right. That's all. But maybe I maybe I, I just look at it different. Than, well, we do. I feel y'all, 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 yeah. y'all in the music. And business. we also look at, like look at it. You could, I don't even got to use Rolling Stones as the white rock and roll example. You can look at Earth, Wind, and Fire or any of the classic right. soul musicians. They haven't had a hit since fucking 1970-something, but they still tour and still get all the big TV gigs and... You know what I'm saying? Like to say it's music over. Music licensed and yeah, yeah. over. I, I, like I said, over is over just is harsh. The, That's over is harsh. It, it is harsh. It is harsh. I'll, I'll work on finding a better way of saying what I mean in that particular. Mm, no, it's been 12 years. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's over for some of you <laughs> niggas, and y'all know who y'all are. And don't make me start naming other names. It's over oh, for shit. some of you niggas. Oh shit! It's over for some of these niggas, and they know it. See, that's the thing. Mm. Some of these niggas know it's over musically, so I'm gonna go do all this other shit and cook, and I love that. Mm-hmm. Rather than a person who just keep chasing it, like bro, it's past. Like, move on, do this. That's fire to me. Do you think it's over for two chains? He's on the list. High, yes. Ross, high, on the list. Where musically, ain't nobody checking for it like that. Ross, look at where Ross is now. Ross is a brand. I don't ever gotta put another album out. I'm gonna sell y'all on all this other shit now. Fuck music. If I legend out the game, you can't say it's over for me. Or <laughs> Mew, I'm only talking. I guess, and that's why I, got I cool legend. It, I legended out the game musically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm Ross. This is my career. Peace. Right. I'm. I'm out. I'll bless y'all every now and again in between. When I feel like money it, money yeah. <laughs> I don't care what it do. I don't think I'm that not, should. We should be able to say. So that's not over. Then, like I said, we, I'll come up with a better word. I'll think on it and say something else. But yeah, and I do really. I'm saying. Over, I'm like, saying two chains because it's more palatable. For me, but that's wrong too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two chains been here since oh two. Mm-hmm. Caught his run late. It spiked. The run came down. Still here delivering spiked other again? shit. I mean, not spiked, but pick, pick back What's up. up. He had a run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Two chains. So once he reinvented. It shot. So even up. if two chains want to say, "Yo, y'all, that's my time. Peace." Maybe we shouldn't say. Yeah, we shouldn't say over. over. That's fucked I'm, up. It's harsh. Again, it's fucked up. It's harsh. I think y'all understand what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying the word wrong. The word over is what's over is like, like these one hit. Some of them one hit one. Yeah, I was gonna say Trinidad just, James. But that's my man too. I don't. Mind. I don't like talking bad about none of these niggas. I understand? <laughs> I understand. Look at you, growing up. You see him right Look, before our very eyes. <laughs> am I? I'm trying to. I mean, yeah, I'm beefed with everybody in the world. All you can do now is piece it up. With people. <laughs> piece Same. Try not beef. to re-injure the beef. Like me and Trinidad James beefed already. Or was unpleasant to each other, mm. and then then saw him in the club, bumped in bumped into each other. That's all it takes. While it was up, no, I ain't speak to that nigga. Sup, nigga? What the fuck, I'm. No, I'm nigga? just saying that's all it takes, though. Once, <laughs> no, I, like like all right, I will give you an example. Back on my early Twitter troll days, me and my son had words on Twitter. Oh, how could you? <laughs> trying to save the world. We were in, no. Deal. My son was. This is this is this is twenty. Don't snitch. Don't say he wasn't on Activist. I'm not saying that. <laughs> but he y'all, know, y'all know who my son is. Uh, no, I don't. So, what do you mean? Whatever. <laughs> so, we in, um, I'm in Sue's one night. And uh, my son is standing like right where this statue is. Nothing happens. The next day, he says, he goes on Twitter, yeah, I was just next to, you know, he tagged me in the club last night. He didn't even do shit. And mm. I said. Neither did you. No, 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 no. Oh. I said. Dog, I just ain't like your music. You want me to steal on you? What, what the fuck? Like, so? I, I don't have a beef. I just don't like your music. From there, it was a com- Like He's like, yo, I respect that, but I think I could change your mind. Check, let me send you what I'm working on. It's a little different direction. That's what he told me. Mm-hmm. That's like what the bi niggas be saying. Your Honor, I respect that, but let me see if I can change your mind. No, we're gonna leave that. <laughs> hey, if it works in music, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> well, did your did your mind change? Not nah, that shit was fire. Yeah, see, there you go. No, no, nigga, you about to make me diss my song now? Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. But nah, like so, certain shit, like the some of the niggas I'm cool with started off with us beefing. So I get that. Because it don't really be beef. Same. Beef is different. I don't even like that word. It's not beef. Yeah. It's, I don't tension. like you and you ain't like me. It's tension. Yeah. Beef is something different. True. Well, thank you for that. 
Shouts to growth. Music breakdown. Come on, clap it up for some growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clap yeah. it up for growth. Growth, growth is important. Hey, that's another thing to buy a nigga say. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, you are hitting them out of the park today, <laughs> buddy. What's wrong with this dude, yo? Holy shit. Shit, man. I think this was a good pod. I think the flow of this pod is how pod should be. Word. This easy, I'm gonna be honest. The four man weaves the nice. fuck out of this. Yeah. <laughs> this was alright. The four man weaves ones be fun. Yeah, no, it's true. This was this was alright. This was a blast. Yeah, we didn't even topic anything. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> just kicking it. Oh, you mean like I say every okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't this? I know. No, don't, don't, do don't get them started. Yeah, don't do that. Please, please, please let them go. Let them go. It's, it's nice. It's ninety Great degrees. Day, beautiful outside. <laughs> I'm going to get in the pool. I'm going to get mm. in the pool. Same nigga. These shorts are trunks. <laughs> 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 this shit might be high in the pool. Louis, <laughs> Louis, Louis. All oh, they're white, so that might be. I'm about to run up. Be I'm about to run up to Bellington. Mm. Burlington, there you go. Get your shit yeah, off. On, That's your spot. That's your <laughs> spot, boy. More than I'm just coats. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they changed that shit. <laughs> it, yo, that, I thought that was some Mandela. That, it was Burlington Coat Factory, and it was, it was going. This was there. just a business decision. It definitely was Burlington Coat. Factory. It was for sure, and they definitely had mad coats. Mad, yeah, I swear he's mad coats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup. When the time we and we had to take the ride too. It wasn't one up here. Yeah. No. They're getting money now niggas yeah. is over here. Put that shit out next that's, door. Yeah, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Got rid of staples. Niggas need coats more oh, than shit. papers. Staples. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. Oh, man. What y'all doing for the rest of the day? Well, you doing the pool. I'm doing the pool. You I am uh, running into the city. Oh, yeah. You're for homegirl, right? Yeah. 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 Got a few yeah. girls in from out of town. You still on that? Listen, they don't. They they didn't overlap. They all came in at the oh, same it's different, time. Different group. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I got one from Dubai. I got one from Portugal. Another one from uh, Atlanta. You have a very diverse friend group. Oh yeah. my God, global. Not a dick inside. That's diverse. <laughs> <laughs> That's real diverse. I was thinking I'm like, <laughs> was diverse. can't y'all catch no dick. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Like, Ice. I said I apologize. <laughs> The common denominator. But anyway. <laughs> nah, you, mm. Salute. Okay. Thank you. Have fun. I appreciate that. That's right. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> Parks? I'm chilling, man. I'm going to go fuck with the pool for a little bit. Oh, shit. It's <laughs> lit, nigga. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well. Jo, 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 jo. Yeah, yeah. Get us out of here. Jo, 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 Yo, we did this whole shit. We didn't have a laptop out. I didn't bring a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I only bring a laptop when it's serious business. That was but right. flip shit, this, nah, yeah. we just talk. Mm. You know, sound effects. I don't need to play the Grammy music on y'all. Long winded, long talking nah. ass. Nigga. So another thing. <laughs> so Ukraine. <laughs> Somehow on Reddit, they hate when I when Joe just starts playing music when people are talking. It's the rudest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the, the flip. The second you don't, yo, why are you letting the nigga talk to me with uh -huh. this shit? Yeah, you, like, can't you, can't you can't win. You can't win. You can't win. They would feel me more if, like, <laughs> y'all would feel me more if they, like, actually responded to what the music means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, let me talk a little louder and get the point across. So like I was saying. That's it. <laughs> That's all they do. They get more animated. Yo, yo, yo turn that shit down. Yo, this is what I mean by that shit. I told you five minutes ago. <laughs> then, then, then we close it out. Here, here you go. Yo, and another thing. Oh, my God. Oh, y'all are the kings. Nah, the funny shit, Bell. It got quiet. So let me ask y'all a question again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Her and Flip. I kind of, I that last Her time, I did, that, I, you know I did that shit on purpose. Yo, it's like, oh. y'all dig that shit back up. So can I that ask, so, so, so what we were saying was, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, huh? Uh, that last time, yeah, I had fun with it. I, I did have fun with it. I'm glad you did. I knew you were trying to move it along. I was like, so another thing, uh, you know, it, yeah. No. So you knew. You so you wanted to be counterproductive. <laughs> <laughs> She's a disruptor. I just wanted, ah, to, I just wanted to fuck with you a little see bit. See what you did there. Mm -hmm. a little bit. Thank you. I I make the connection in many areas in Mel's life that <laughs> that, that applies. <laughs> Let's walk away from that. You guys, love you. <laughs> love you, mean it. Peace. <laughs>
Joe Button.